So this week we have loading screen and then subject 37 and then it'll be subject 38 for the marathon. Okay, I think I'm ready to go. So we're taking off in three, two, one. Hi. Hello. So this is Porsche. Anyway, I a charming little life sim set in a post-apocalyptic future. This is Presley. He's going to be our boss. Sort of. And here we are. So, Portia is uh, well, a new city built on the, the bones of an old I city from before so the uh, before the apocalypse. Which is in the process of rebuilding itself and the world around it. And I am going to be helping with that. I am the town's latest Ow. builder. But first I have to build, or to prove that I know how to actually build things, so I need to start by making a pickaxe, an axe, and a furnace. Uh, I will not be making all of those things. I will be buying an axe, because it turns out you can do that, and Presley can't tell the difference, so... Fine by me. First, we have to wander around and get some basic resources. Should be three rocks over here. I think I see all three of them. Yep. Sometimes one of them is hidden somewhere. Okay, so we're going to be heading into the uh, city in just a couple minutes. But first, I'm just going to run around the outside of the town and open some chests that have some valuable stuff in them. Uh, money is going to be no problem at all um, for the second roughly half of the run. Eh, more than that, like two-thirds of the run. I really don't have to worry about money at all. Uh, the story missions I'm going to be doing, uh, just as rewards, give me more money than I could possibly need for the stuff I need to do. Uh, but during the first part of the run, money is going to be a bit of a problem. So I'm going to be trying to find some items like this knuckle that I can sell for quite a lot. The knuckle will, will help me out in the first couple of days. Some bones. I actually need those for making a weapon later. So uh, this uh, this game's gonna have a lot of uh, building, construction, that kind of stuff. But it's also got some, some good old-fashioned dungeon crawling in it. Uh, the the world in the post-apocalypse is not entirely safe. There are people and monsters who we have to fight. And for the first part of the game, I'm actually going to be at a level where I'm going to be reasonably well matched for them. In the late game, I'm going to be very much under leveled for basically everything I have to fight. So this is the harbor over here. I'm going to be building this place up later. It's going to be completely unrecognizable from its current state by the end of the run. Yeah, this is uh, this is where I first met Presley, just yesterday in-game. So I'm going to head back to my workshop now. 
uh, but it's a long way back, so I'm gonna get some help from these rabbits up here. As it turns out they don't get happy when you, uh, when you hit them. And there's no actual consequences for dying in the overworld. Except that you get sent back to your workshop, which is actually something we want, so we're going to be doing that at various points throughout the run. Uh, let's see... What stone? Or what, uh... What thing I had to buy there? Okay, uh... Or not buy, craft. I'm trying to think and speed run at the same time. It's not working very well. There we go. Okay, we've got a pickaxe. We've got a furnace. That's the basic furnace, so it'll allow us to work with copper. And copper alloys. We're going to need to get some upgraded furnaces later on to work with iron, steel, and eventually aluminum. Here. But there's some chests that uh, we can open through the walls to have some stuff in them that we can sell. That slingshot, though, I'm actually going to equip. So uh, there's some equipable items that can uh, affect your combat stats, and I'm going to want to have good combat stats. That will help me go fast later on. things. Oops. Buy storage box. Wood tends to be pretty valuable early on in the run, so I do not want to spend any wood on making storage if I can help it at all. Okay, so I got some power stones that I'm going to need for powering equipment. I got some upgrade kits that I'm going to need to get uh, bronze tools, and I also bought the axe that I need to show Presley to prove that I know how to make axes. <clears throat> nice to see you. Hello, Presley. How are you doing? Oh, let me introduce you. Where the organite now then? You need to hey, want to see this you have very high quality done. axe that I definitely made? Great job. Oh, I did a great job. That's fantastic. Okay, let's go register our workshop. So, Presley runs the Commerce Guild. He's going to be the one giving us some of the missions that we need to do for uh, upgrading the town. Uh, this is Gale. He's the mayor. Welcome, welcome. I'm here to register my. Very well. He's nice going to be giving us you. some of the other missions awesome. we're going to be doing. We actually don't talk to Gale for almost the entirety of the second half of the run. Anyway, Presley's going to give us our first mission here. Or actually, technically, Arlo shows up and gives us the mission. You're now. Let me explain some based on the speed and there are other workshops. And oh yes, Add it once you're done with your order. Anyway. Cutscene, and here's what Arlo. Arlo uh, is the head of the civil corps, which is basically the local uh, law enforcement, basically, and uh, monster hunters. That's the thing that's needed around here. Um, I don't actually remember. Why it's Arlo who turns up and gives us the mission for that. I think it was just someone's idea that they wanted to introduce us to Arlo early on in the run, maybe. I don't actually know. I cut down a couple of trees on the way home here. Go ahead and put furnace down, and we're gonna start making some 
bronze. So I'm basically never going to use my stone tools. Uh, I was able to buy some copper uh, that I can use to immediately upgrade to uh, bronze tools. This house is so warm. So yeah, I'm basically going to skip over the stone age here. That's the bronze I need for upgrading. And there we go. Uh, I got a skill point yesterday, so let's go ahead and spend that. So as you level up, you get skill points that you can use to upgrade various abilities. Uh, the first couple that I'm going to get are going to go into efficiency. Um, so you can make it cost less stamina each day to use uh, uh, your axe and pickaxe, which is going to be very useful. needed the bronze axe to be able to cut down these larger trees. Uh, uh, the trees have specific names inside the game, but I'm going to be basically referring to them all by the main resource I'm getting from them. Uh, these larger trees are hardwood trees. Uh, you can't get hard from the smaller trees that you can cut down with uh, regular stone axes. And I'm going to need uh, a lot of hardwood. Uh, specifically, I'm going to need 50 to get the first mission done didn't actually comment on that. The first mission that I got, or the first main story mission, uh, was actually going to be building a bridge uh, over to Amber Island, which is not really visible over the river. Well, some of the trees over there are on Amber Island, but if you can't see the river, you can't tell which ones. Um, so yeah, we, uh, Amber Island has uh, a lot of resources that we would love access to, but... Uh, we uh, do not have uh, a bridge or anything giving us easy access over to it right now, so they need me to build a bridge for them. Very well, I can do that. And yes, I'm eating raw salad sauce. Don't worry about it, it just gives me some extra stamina. Good. I'm gonna run on over uh, to Sophie's ranch over here. Uh, Cause she has some stuff I need to buy. Opening chests through the wall again. So the milk is for stamina for the next few days. It'll allow me to make one trip to the uh, to the mine instead of several. And the bait, or the, the caterpillars are bait uh, for fishing with. I'm going to be doing some fishing uh, in 40 or 50 minutes or so. Let's head home. Some more furnaces. Uh, oh, I actually need that. Okay, and I have enough uh, hardwood. Having more furnaces will allow me to process materials faster. So my mining ability is also now upgraded. 
So I'm getting maximum efficiency with that. Inside my workshop, I'm gonna do some more quick repairs here so I can use wood now that I have some more of it to repair my workshop. Uh, until I do that, I don't start each day with my full stamina, which I'm going to want to do. Uh, the bed goes by the door because speed running. And today is going to be the first mining trip we're doing. I'm heading over to the iron, or excuse me, over to the copper mine. Uh, technically, the game calls it Abandoned Ruins Number One, but that doesn't tell you what I'm actually going to be getting there. Alrighty, let me exp when you enter. This one beside. Me. Okay, I'm done. So this is the copper mine. We're going to be getting copper here, but before we get copper, um, we can get uh, old relics from uh, the old world. That for some reason are buried here. I'm not actually entirely certain why, but they are. And I need some uh, some relics for making some machines that are coming up. Uh, specifically, I need seven old parts. Okay, I got two of them. I'll also get some power stones and data disks here, which are useful as well. Um, data disks are needed for researching things. I don't actually know how to make all of the stuff I'm going to have to make during the course of the run, so I'm going to have to use the data disks to unlock new recipes. And the power stones are good. Those uh, allow me to power mini machines. Actually, I'm going to do it this way. Clock. I don't care about clocks. It's another old part. I'm up to five now. Actually, making pretty good time. So you can't actually mine while you have the relic scanner open. You can lock onto one relic, which will remain visible after you close the relic scanner. Uh, but you can only lock onto one at a time. So I usually will lock onto one that's a bit further away. And then uh, mine towards one that's close enough for me to keep track of without having to uh, have the relic scanner open. Like I can remember this one up here. It's not so far away that I'll get lost on the way there. Here we go. And now I can see the direction to the next one without having to open the relic scanner again. So I've got six old parts. I need one more. Oh, wow. There's a bunch of them over there. Okay. Well, let's head that way next. Uh, grab this one first. That actually gave me the last one I needed, but there's a whole cluster of them right here, so let's go ahead and clean those out, because that could be valuable. parts later on in the run, so as long as I'm in a cluster here that are really close together, 
of relics. I might as well clean them out. There are very good odds that, that will save me time. Um, okay, that's fine. Everything else is a bit more spread out, so let's... What's that big bit of copper I saw back here? Okay, that's a bit further back than I remembered. Okay, so let's start getting copper. So I'm going to need 312 copper before I leave here. I don't actually have copper visible. Let's do that. data discs already, that's pretty good. Okay, I'm gonna douse about 20 gallons of milk. That'll increase my ability to stay down here and mine longer. Although, that, that does sound like a really, really terrible idea. copper. So after we get the copper, I'm going to keep mining for stone. That's another reason I didn't mind going for those last couple of relics, because I need stone anyway. As long as I'm collecting stone, I might as well be collecting stone in the direction of a relic that might be useful. Once we're done in the mine for today, uh, I'm going to head over across the town to the research center, which is where I can unlock uh, uh, new blueprints. Uh, I'm going to be having to go there for a lot of the story missions. Uh, people very frequently ask me to build things that I don't know how to build, and I have to go ask the research center for help. Oh, welcome here. Yeah, I'm doing pretty well today. I hope that you're doing well. And yeah, I'm, I'm glad that you uh, glad that you enjoy watching. right at the start of this run, so it's a bit too early to say whether this is going to go well or not. This first mining trip has gone well. enough stone. Okay, let's do a few quick upgrades. And let's get out of here. towards the research center. I'm just going to cut some trees down on the way. Some trees that will give a decent amount of uh, regular wood.
how many regular trees there are up here. Hey, discovered something. Yeah, I found these. Oh, oh the lenses, this? right. What do we have? Here? That's actually a bit unfortunate. What do we have? You know what it is? You want to know? These data disks yeah, are might be able to get some money from it. Anyway, it's a side mission I don't have to do, though. Oh, this must be a... P Hello? Hi. Did you discover something? That should be enough data disks. The data corruption... Okay, so... I used those data disks uh, to unlock the simple furnace, which I'm going to need to get up onto iron tools. While I'm over here, let's go ahead and sell some things that I don't need that I got from the mine. Don't need any of that. Um, don't need anything else from there. We're going to need some fabric later, so let's go ahead and grab some of that. Grab another one of these. Uh... Then I'm going to head back towards my workshop and cut down some trees on the way. That was not a tree, that was a bush. Oh well. Three hundred. Okay, that's that's enough to last for a while. Turn game speed back up. So you can adjust the speed that the in-game clock runs at. I usually set it have or have it set high, but it's worth turning it down in a few cases. Uh, it's good when you're going on long mining trips because it basically means I get back sooner. So this stuff has more time to cook overnight. Uh, let's see what am I making? First thing I think I'm making is a grinder. Uh, this is one of the things I needed the old parts for. And with the grinder, I'll be able to make some copper blades. Uh, let's 
stop making stone bricks. some rocks over here, which is going to give me some more stone, but also marble. So I need a decent amount of marble, and almost all of the marble I need is needed in the first half of the run. Topaz is uh, a pretty good find. Uh, so I can sell that for money, which will be valuable. Uh, I actually will need some topaz later on in the run, but some of the story missions just give me topaz shortly before I'm going to need it, so I can just sell all the topaz I get early in the run. I don't need more hardwood right now, so I'm just kind of focusing on the smaller trees that I, I can cut down very quickly. They give me a lot of the wood that I need um, uh, for you know, powering the furnaces. where to stand to hit that thing. Some more trees over here. Let's grab those. Bunny friend's gonna give us a ride home again. Thank you very much, uh, Bunny. And I think I am just gonna be sleeping. Oh, I should have kicked one of the hardwood trees while I was out there on that day. Oh well. stone bricks I need for now. Uh, so now I just need a lot of bronze. Really? Okay, now, it's like, it looked like I was out of wood there for a moment, and that would have been very confusing. But, 
I was just being a little bit silly. So I should be able to make six copper pipes. And let's start working on some cutters. Okay, so I'm going to be able to make one cutter right now. And another one probably later on in this day. So first thing I'm going to make with this is going to be the hardwood planks that I need uh, for making the bridge. And I'm going to come over here and pick a tree. So this is an ironwood tree. I won't be able to cut these down for a little while. But I need some of the resources from them. And you can get some of the resources just by kicking them. There we go. So I need two of the wild cocoons for making a fishing rod. routing through the trees there was not particularly good. Kind of changed my mind halfway through about which way I was going. Should be enough wood for a little while. Uh, I think I could have actually made the other cutter before going to bed, but that's fine. Don't really need to. Thirty more bronze. So there's ten, fifteen, and twenty. I should be able to make the uh, the bridge tomorrow, and we're going to finally complete uh, a story mission. Almost 40 minutes into the run. Yes, I need 10 more bronze, so let's go ahead and do that here. 
Okay, I'm done with bronze for now. Oh, nope, I need six more of those. There we go. Okay, so that's all of the wooden boards that I need to finish the run. I don't need to ever make any more of them again. I'm going to need bronze plates. Let's go ahead and make ten of those. I'm going to need twenty in total. Uh, let's come on over here. Go ahead and make the fishing rod. Excellent. And let's start making a bridge. So I'm going to need these bits. Uh, and I'm actually going to have to wait until tomorrow. Uh, to make the last piece, because I need the bronze plates that I just started working on. I did not get much, uh... I don't know if I can go in there. Uh, I did not actually get very much, um, marble on that trip. I'll be able to make the last of the bronze plates today. Uh, we'll see. Not all of the bronze is finished cooking. Okay, yeah, so about eight, so I still need to make two more. That does, however, give me enough to go ahead and make the rest of the bridge. the water is Amber Island. Okay, I was trying to decide whether to go cut some trees down on the way, but I think we're doing fine for wood right now, so let's just get this done while we can. Okay, I can cut some trees down on the island. Excellent. Still need to go back to the Commerce Guild and report to the secretary there that I have completed their mission successfully. That they now have a serviceable bridge over to the island. few more than mud crabs. Mad crabs. I can read. And they are going to give me a ride home. Thank you very much, crabs. Guild and report on the completed mission. Excellent work. There we go, got some money. And that mission is done, and it'll be a little while before the next story mission starts. So I am gonna head home. I'm sure I can do that. There's the Civil Furnace. Uh, I don't have all of the bronze I need for that, though, so I'm not going to worry about that yet.
make sure I was crafting the correct thing there. Oh, uh, you know, I didn't make the marble planks I needed. Uh, I actually need quite a bit more than I have. I'm going to need to do some more mining. Uh, these stones should have come back over here, though, so that's fine. So I just made five marble planks. Let's go ahead and cross that off. There we go. So I only need to make ten more. Got some more topaz there. And a bloodstone. Bloodstones are also useful. Uh, we need a couple of them throughout the run. skipping over some of the smaller rocks. I probably shouldn't be doing that, because you can get marble from them. All the skill points I'm going to be spending for the rest of the run are going to be going into uh, stuff to up upgrade combat ability. Oh. oh thank you, thank you. Well, that was unfortunate. I uh, didn't realize I was going close to that trigger. Okay, well, that was a side quest I didn't have to complete, but it used some wooden boards, so... Uh, I'm going to have to make some more wooden boards when I get back to my workshop, because I needed those for other things. Yeah, I need to be... I need to remember to be careful of uh, that while I'm over there. That was 40 wood, too. Wooden boards uh, require eight. Uh, eight pieces of wood each. of those.
clearing out my inventory because this is going to be the first day of the fishing event and uh, the fish use up a lot of inventory space. Okay, so that's all of the remaining marble that I need to make, or marble planks. So I probably have enough marble to finish the run now. Right, so the fishing event takes place over two days. Uh, on each day there are three events, and I get prizes for winning the events, so there's six total events I can win. Hopefully I'll win all six of them, so that's not entirely within my control. Yeah, this is one of the early pieces of RNG in the run that can really make my life difficult if it doesn't go well. So Gale here is going to tell me about the next story mission. Uh, okay. I need to deal with that tomorrow. There's another mission I need to deal with. That's fine. Alright, so welcome to the fishing mini game in Porsche. I was not ready for a king immediately. That's unfortunate. Uh, so that was a king. Kings are very rare. It's about 1 in 30, and they're extremely valuable, so I do not want to throw them away the way I just did with that one. That was most unfortunate. Well, that's fine, because it just gave me another one immediately. So this is a King Salmon. Golden Salmon King, technically. Yeah, so I'm in control of the bubble. Uh, I just have to keep the bubble on the fish. And when I reel the fish in, the little red bubble gets bigger. If the red bubble gets too big, then the fish escapes. But for speed running, I want to uh, reel the fish in as quickly as possible. Which creates an interesting set of incentives, because I want to basically be as close to losing the fish as possible without actually losing it. Uh, occasionally, a fish will be an emperor. Uh, their emperors are the same difficulty to catch. Uh, they're just worth twice as much, just by luck. Uh, the kings are worth a lot more, and they are significantly harder to catch. Okay, so that was the first event done. And I've already got one king, so that's already it hasn't been terrible luck. That's a Goliath, I don't want those. Goliaths are actually quite valuable. They're the most valuable type of fish. Um, excepting, of course, the kings. Uh, but they also take an absolute age to catch. So they are not time efficient. I don't think they are. If nothing else, they seriously reduce your odds of getting kings, which are the things I actually want here. I think the Goliaths are worth uh, 350. 
and the kings are all worth 5,000. So, anything that significantly reduces the number of opportunities I'm going to have to catch a king is not worth it in my book, and that is the Goliaths. Yeah, welcome here, Lavender. I was very glad to hear that you were able to find your kitty. Yeah, I hope that your day is doing well. This should be the last fish for this day, and it almost got away from me there. I should be able to win this one. I'm canceling each event a little bit early, which does give my competitors a little bit of a chance to catch up, but so far they haven't been able to overtake me. That very likely won't be true for all of the events on the second day. So the competition does get more difficult. Okay, well, got another king here. So I've gotten lucky so far. As long as I get two of these, I'm not too disappointed. Two is about normal. If I get only one, then I'm slightly annoyed. If I don't get any kings at all, then I get grumpy. Getting three or more is just a bonus. So, yeah, already having two before the end of the first day. That's pretty good. It is very possible that I won't catch any at all tomorrow. But if I do, then that'll just make my life easier. say golden salmon not very interesting but it was an emperor is today so prices can fluctuate up and down uh, 118 that's good anything over 100% is fine uh, let's see I need to buy the 15 iron I need there. Let's go ahead and buy some of these. Not all shops buy all types of items, and each shop has a limited amount of money it can spend each day. So I'm kind of spreading the fish out among different shops. 
I also just bought a bunch of upgrade kits, which is going to get me uh, all the remaining upgrades I need to do until uh, or up onto steel tools. But sell these while I can. don't know if the market price is going to go up or down tomorrow, so I'm going to go ahead and sell everything I can, just because it's pretty good today. It, it might get better tomorrow, but it might also get worse. Uh, let's see. Okay, I do need the steel plates. the civil furnaces I'm going to need. And I'm going to use the same trick I did with the uh, with the bronze tools. Uh, of Instead of going to the iron mine and mining out some iron. And then using that to make iron tools to go back and get more iron, I just went ahead and bought some iron at the store. And I'm going to go ahead and process that here. Let's see, iron. There's iron. Good. Put some stuff in some chests. Just give me more room in my inventory tomorrow. That'll be fine. I have the iron that I need to make the axes. So there's three things I need to make the tool upgrades. Uh, I need uh, the iron, of course, which I now have. I need the upgrade kits, which I bought yesterday. Uh, but I also need to have an upgraded work table. Uh, the default work table I have uh, is only good enough to make bronze equipment. So I'm also going to need to use uh, the rest of the old parts I picked up on the second day, along with uh, a lot of the wooden boards I made, and 2,000 gold. I'm going to need to buy an upgrade to my work table, which I will do probably tomorrow in-game. Gale. There's Gale. Hi. So they're having a community gift exchange. Uh, I'm, sure the <laughs> I'm just gonna go ahead and put a junk item in. Uh oh. Hi, Papa Bear. Oh, hello, Toady, too. Okay, so, um, yeah, on the second day, we can get much more difficult competition. So the two best fishers in Porsche are Toady and Papa Bear. Toady is a professional fisherman, and Papa Bear is a bear. He just kind of wades in and just grabs the salmon out with his teeth. Uh, and I've got both of them in this event, so yay! It's a very good chance I'm not going to be coming first. The other unfortunate thing about Papa Bear is that he tends to flail his arms around a lot and block my camera. It's fine, as long as the fish stay on the right half of my screen. If they go over to the left, they could end up hidden behind Papa Bear while he's flailing around. Which I think should count as cheating, but whatever. I guess when you're a bear... You don't have to worry about rules. Okay, I'm in third place right now. If I could catch a king, like, right now, that would be good. Yeah, Papa Bear has almost... I mean, ask and ye shall receive. Uh, Papa Bear has almost twice as many points as me right now, but that's not going to be true for very long. Oh, 
Oh, that was close. Don't take chances. Could you stay off the left side of the screen? Seriously, if Papa Bear leans to the right, right when this thing makes a quick movement, that could be bad for me. Okay, I'm in first place now. If Papa Bear gets lucky and gets a king, then there's nothing I can do about that. But I have a good position right now. That's fine. Let's go ahead and stop this. We've got 30 seconds left. Yep, okay. Papa Bear got out in front of me again, so I took second place in that one. Toadie didn't catch up there, so that's good. Okay, no Papa Bear this time, but we still have Toadie in this event. Uh, yeah, I'm doing good for, for RNG so far in this run. I've got three kings. I could have had four too, that would have been really good. I've not been scoring very many points in this event, but neither has anybody else. Okay, never mind. Toadie just caught a wise fish. Nope, oh, but I'm back in first place. I doubt that's going to remain the case, though. Okay, no. Toadie just got a Goliath. How did Toadie get a Goliath that fast? That's definitely cheating. This needs to be the last fish I catch. Okay. Got a reasonably valuable one. If Toady gets unlucky here, I might be able to win. Oh. Uh, yep. Toady got unlucky. Okay, so I took another first place. And no sign of Toady in this event. Excellent. Which does not guarantee I'm going to win, but... Definitely helps if I don't have to go up against Toadie or Papa Bear. I mean, sure, why not? This is a king. That's four kings I've caught now. And there was a fifth one that I uh, missed. And for Gladiator is good.
I think gladiators are the most time efficient fish I can catch. Closely followed by the wise fish. Okay, one more fish, I think. And it's another gladiator. That'll do. Okay, and that event is done. Go ahead and buy some armor while I'm there. So we also get badges for uh, for competing in the fishing event, which can't be converted to money and can't be used uh, for, for buying things generally, but each like event like that, like the fishing day, has its own special shop where you can redeem the uh, the badges you get for that event. And as long as it's throwing fishing badges at me, I might as well get some armor for them. And okay, well that was a good idea, selling everything yesterday. So the market price has gone down. It's still over 100 though. I think it's still worthwhile to sell most of what I have here. sell the kings. I have tons of money now. Uh, I'm gonna s put off selling a little bit of the food, though, until the market price goes up. I don't need it, really, right now. I have plenty of money. Okay, so the next thing I need to do is upgrade my tools and go on a mining trip. the fishing badges, because I have no use for them now. the time uh, I need to get into a and construction to have them upgrade my work table for me. Uh, but they don't open until 8 o'clock, so I have, uh, I have to spend some time doing something. This is where we can do a lot of our upgrades. I'm going to be spending a fair bit of time in here. Okay, so, work table, upgrade, confirm. While I have the ability to move things around, I'm going to put it somewhere where I can get to it a bit more easily. to the mines. This is going to be the second mining trip. Uh, we're going to be going to the copper mine again uh, to get some more 
copper, uh, basically all the copper I need to get up to the point where I can make steel tools. Uh, then I'm going to be going up the hill up to the uh, iron mine and getting the iron I need as well. Hmm. Uh, gain speed down will be help for this. So I need a total of 263 copper. Including what I already had from breaking rocks earlier. Yeah, basically the upgraded uh, pickaxe collects more ore for each hit, basically. That's copper done. Then we can go up the hill again. And as long as I have iron now, I can cut trees down much faster. So let's start doing some of that. As long as there's some trees in my way here, might as well cut them down on the way. I can cut down these ironwood trees now, too. Once I get into the iron mine, I'm going to have to do some relic hunting again. It's the next story mission. Uh, I didn't really mention it, but uh, Gale asked me to build a battery that they need to power some equipment in a cave on Amber Island. And uh, one of the resources I need for making that is going to be uh, a couple of springs, which I can't actually make. I need to collect them in the ruin here. Springs can be found loose, or they can be found in pots boxes. Pots boxes would be my preference. Because uh, that allows me to get data disks and old parts and stuff at the same time. Tennis racket. Mm, not, not quite what I was looking for. Yo, and 
industrial engine. That's actually a good find. Uh, you can get those here, but it's quite, uh, quite rare. Uh, I'm going to be needing to get six of those later on in the run. And they are quite slow to get, so getting that one means I only need to get five later, which is fine with me. can go days without finding industrial engines in here. Just finding two of them pretty quickly is uh, quite good. Still haven't found any springs yet. So not having good luck there. into an area where the relics are not particularly dense, which is not helping. Yo, I got a spring. And a tennis racket. Another tennis racket. I don't know much about the uh, the old city that existed where Porsche now is, but they must have had a very lively tennis scene. need lubricant. If you're playing the game casually, lubricant's actually one of the items you're going to find yourself using a fair bit. It's used for making a number of different things, but for whatever reason, it just none of the stuff you need it for is used in the story missions. useless to us. Didn't pick up a second spring, no. Picked up a lot of buckets. And another spring. Excellent. Okay. Uh, let's head back to the start of the mine. I think I saw some large... Actually, did I? I don't remember if I saw any large... Oh, yep, just added any large iron pockets. Let's go ahead and grab this. Where's the iron? There's iron, so I need 200 and... Okay, I've already got enough. How many buckets did I get? Because uh, I kind of need to know that. Four, okay. So I'm cutting down some trees. 
while I make my way over to the uh, research center again. That should be enough data disks. The data corruption on okay, so that was the industrial cutter I just unlocked. I took a look at the lens. Different how? These glasses alter the color blindness? It's not something we So I'm going to need about 50 more hardwood. Inventory management. Okay, let's get start. Uh, let's start processing some of this stuff. So I need 22 iron. Uh, I'm gonna need steel. Let's actually start making the charcoal on these furnaces. There's 20, and there's a fifth. I need five copper. Let's go ahead and do that there. Uh, sure, let's go ahead and make glass I need here. So it's five glass. And 25 bronze. Can I not make that glass? Let's hit cancel.
steel. There we go. Thirty and I need thirty-seven. Okay, well, collected exactly the correct amount of stuff. should give me the, uh, the hardwood I need to get up to steel. I basically compartmentalize my resource collection. It's like, I don't want to be collecting anything with a iron tool that I could be collecting later on in the run with a steel tool. It will take less time. Although for these small trees, it really doesn't matter. Like a steel axe isn't going to one-shot all of these trees any faster than the uh, any faster than the iron one will, and in fact, it'll use more stamina to do it. Not that stamina really matters at this point. Oh, I didn't actually mention that. So at the fishing event, uh, I got a lot of food, some of which I'm just going to sell because I don't need it. But some of that food uh, restores stamina, which is very useful. Uh, this game does not actually give you a lot of ways of recovering stamina. But being able to negate the stamina system in the game to let me do as much as I want during each day is very useful. So early on in the, uh, well, like on the first day, uh, I, or second day, I guess, I bought some, uh, some milk from Sophie's Ranch, which allowed me to, uh, ignore stamina for my first mining trip. Uh, now the food I got from the fishing day is gonna allow me to ignore stamina uh, until I get the tree farm prepared. Uh, once the tree farm missions are done, uh, the tree farm is gonna send me free apples, which I'm going to process into apple slices, and those are gonna let me ignore the stamina mechanic for the rest of the game. Just make sure... Yep, I got over 50, so we're good on that. What did I get? 14, okay. I'm going to need 20 iron wood before I get to I'll the uh, tree farm missions. Can I help you? Yes. So I still need a little bit more. Uh, this is Huss and Tuss. What should I do? They are local outlaws. They are trying to scam me. Uh, I'm just going to ignore them. Turns out that side mission will just deal with itself if you ignore it. battery today. Let's see, I need some springs and some power stones. Got a decent number of power stones. Uh, oh, and marble.
That's the only thing I actually use raw marble for in the whole run. Go deal with that quest, that mission. So we're gonna be going back to Amber Island and I'm gonna cut down some trees on the way. Okay, so I need six more iron wood. Uh, what am I doing? I have forgotten something very important. Hold on, backtrack. Uh, this is going to be the first combat mission, so it would be really unfortunate if I went into it without remembering to make my first weapon first. Wait. Here we go. Got a sword. That would have been embarrassing. rocks while I'm over here because I still need bloodstones and I can get some of those from the big rocks. There we go. Got one there. the last of the iron wood I need. Excellent. Okay, two bloodstones there. Cross off all the bronze I made earlier. Okay, I've done that. Okay, let's go. random uh, snail. I don't know what we had against it, but that's just a thing we had to do. Yeah, we've got an old part from that box. Fine, deal with the rats. 
see, I'm gonna need a lot of old parts later, so I'm gonna take any opportunity to grab some from chests or from boxes. Uh, goodbye, box. Your, your people need you, I guess. And that's the battery I needed to install, and I turn it on. And now this bunch of rats trying to kill me because of reasons. boss battle. So it turns out that the rats down here had been in responsible for stealing stuff from the villagers, or from the, uh, the portions, which was actually a completely side, a uh, different side mission that we weren't even supposed to be involved in, but we happened to find the the rats down here in this place we were sent to, so okay, guess we'll do that while we're here. Fine, fine by me. And we go out and we find the civil corps out here preparing to go in to fight the rats. And we're like, hey, sorry, we, we did your you job for you. The cave complex and it turns out we could have just gotten to Amber Island that way this whole time, so that first mission we did completely useless. That is not the only story mission we're going to do that's going to end up being completely useless. Although I guess, you know, the bridge is still a more convenient way of getting there than the uh, than the cave system. So that's what happened. Here's your com and here's some extra that collector's agent. You should also have a t Okay, and there we go. We're done with that mission. Uh, can I sell anything right now? Let me see. junk out of my inventory that I don't need. I need this coming up soon, though. And that, and these, and that. Uh, I think that, and nothing else I need. I'm gonna need some bronze pipes coming up pretty soon. Uh, so those planks are still being worked on, so let's just go to bed. Uh, did I ever turn game speed back up, by the way? I did not. Now would be a good time to do that. So, the next story mission uh, is going to involve uh, making a bus system so that we can get around town a bit faster. So, that'll be nice. I am going to be making extensive use of that for the rest of the run. Okay, we are almost done with bronze now. For now, at least. Should be able to make 10 bronze plates. Yep, excellent. And 10 more hardwood planks, which gives me 50. 
50, which is the amount that I need. Oops. Delay there, because I misclicked on something. mission yet, but I do already have the recipe or the diagram for the bus stop or for the bus, so I'm going to go ahead and make one just so I can do that quickly when I do get asked to make it or rather so it's already done. Speaking of which, there's Presley to tell me that I need to make some buses. Nope, 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 nope. I need the rest of the bronze. Get the bronze, then do that. Trees just to pass the time. So I need to wait until 8 o'clock. Okay, so there's five DD transports on the commission board. Uh, we need to get all five of them off of there. I need to do at least one. So I'm gonna grab one, immediately talk to Antoine. Turn that in, come back to the board, immediately take another one. So yeah, so I've now taken two commissions for DD transports. I need my rival, Higgins, to take the other three. Because uh, otherwise they will block story progression. Oh, right. Ugh. Forgot about that. Uh, right after doing that, I have to talk to Gale. But, uh... Gale's office does not open until 10 o'clock, so let me find something else to do while I wait. Okay, well, I had time to break one rock, uh, which did not have any bloodstones in it, so that actually did not help me at all. Oh, well. So the next mission, uh, now that I've made one of the DD transports, is I need to make some bus stops. Ah, there you are. Those buses are no good if they don't have bus stops. Now that I think about it. And although I already had a diagram for making a bus, uh, bus stops are just way too complicated, you know? I, I don't know how to make those, so I'm going to have to go uh, ask Petra at the research center for help. A DD stop sign. Oh, you came. Since you're building the... The problem is, there's a hazardous... Pet Petra's going to explain to me how to make a DD transport, even though I've already made one. Buy some more stuff. Thank you. 
So uh, I need to make three bus stops. I believe Higgins has to make two. Anyway, whoever builds those first uh, gets to place uh, gets to place them in the convenient locations close to town. Uh, whoever doesn't manage to place those first has to make the long walk down to the harbor to place one. So I have already prepared all my materials, so I can just go ahead and do this now. While well, I'm on my way past these rocks, let's go ahead and break them. Get some more bloodstones. There we go. Two of those, I can immediately start placing them, or I can immediately start quick traveling between them. So, uh, the DD transport system is a convenient way of getting around town quickly. I'm going to be using it throughout the rest of the run, uh, but also more than just being a means of transport. When you travel between the bus stops, uh, you move between them almost immediately, but uh, it supposedly takes time to do it, so the the game actually just pushes the in-game clock forwards by a notable amount. Oh, Audrey, welcome here. So if I need to get to 8 o'clock to go into the Commerce Guild or stuff like that, I can just bounce around between bus stops very quickly. So the DD missions are done. Excellent. I yeah, hope that your day is going well. And thanks for the good luck. We're having pretty good luck so far. It took us a while to get the springs uh, for the battery. But I got four fish kings at the uh, fishing day event, so I'm not going to complain about that. I need to go into the Commerce Guild to date, so I am immediately gonna just bounce around between some bus stops until I get to 8 o'clock. Might need to do two trips here. This will get easier once I can... Uh, uh, once I can go down to the harbor. Once Higgins places the bus stop down there. That takes a lot of time. Rather, it pushes the clock forwards by the same amount. Or, excuse me, by a lot more while using the same amount of real time. So, this is an inspection mini game. Whoop. We just have to spot the difference. And we can do that on Saturdays and Sundays now. That's good. There's not much going on here yet. Basically, uh, 
woke up, did some dishes, and then got it speed running. How do you do, Builder? Do you have the great? I... Hey. So, Hassantas is still trying to scam at me, but Remington from the Civil Corps turns up and saves me. But they drop a knife, which is great, because I can use that to level up my combat ability. So, thank you very much, Hassantas. Aw, oh, very good luck. So, I get random items from doing inspections. Uh, the fountain pen is one of the ones I really want. That increases my odds of being able to do critical damage while in combat, which is a significant improvement well, to my damage fly? output. Uh, this is the next story mission, so the uh, the water supply here is uh, all green and icky. Something Something's up with that. Oh. So yeah, we're going to have to figure that out in like an hour or two. Eh, about an hour. Yeah, early on in the run, I don't, um, I don't go through story missions very fast. I'm mainly focused on, uh, on gathering resources. Uh, hello? Oh, there it is. We'll grab the commission for the next story mission. Yeah, mainly working on the tech tree and all that stuff. Uh, later on in the run, we start just flying through story missions super fast. Oh, I need to go to the Commerce Guild. Or not Commerce. I need to go to the Research Center. So I'm going to unlock the Industrial Furnace here. Which is the last bit of machinery I need to get up onto steel tools. And that's going to be the last upgrade to my tools. Steel is the, the highest tier you can get for axes and pickaxes. Oh, uh, I've got bus stops now. Why am I trying to walk back across town? with a lot less delay. Excellent. I'm glad to hear it. Ah, pesky latency. It's never fun. Okay, let's see what item I got from the inspection this time. The World of Doctor session, it went uh, really well. Excellent. Glad to hear that. What else I need to have on me? Let's go ahead and get the iron out of here. Uh, I can hold on to the rest of it. Let's put these over here where I can see them. Us and Tess broke my mailbox out of spite. Right, I put the wood out of my inventory. That's perfect, I think. Oh, I just got perfect luck, I think. Yeah, these three items are basically the best three combat items I can get. Well, that's fantastic. Let's go do some combat then. Uh, still got this wood on me. Let's get that out of my inventory. Don't need to be carrying that anymore. An ability for your cultist character. Excellent. What, uh, what kind of ability? Oh, today's Monday. So let's baby babysit Higgins here. Higgins is probably gonna run down to the harbor today. Yep, okay. 
So uh, I'm going to be heading out to the sewage plant, which is a new place that I now have access to. Uh, the Civil Corps won't let me go in there until I can prove that I'm good at fighting. Trying your luck. Hi. So I'm going to have to fight a sparring match against Sam and not lose. <laughs> Luckily, I know a stun lock. I still have to be a bit careful, though. Sam can very easily wiggle out of the stun lock. Good. You're pretty good. Okay, so we are in to uh, the collapsed wasteland. So there's some monsters in here that'll try to kill us. Not much of a threat. But what I actually care about in here is the sewage plant. Straight ahead. So I can get uh, various different resources by fighting my way through here. The main one I care about, which is going to be the limiting factor on how much time I spend in here, is going to be old parts, which I put on my hotbar at the end. I have seven of them currently. And I need to get up to 53. And unfortunately, old parts are slow to get by any means. But this is the least slow way I know about. Kill all the enemies on each floor before I can advance to the next floor. Which is a bit unfortunate, honestly, the enemies don't really have anything that I want. Uh, that's not true. I need some of this mucus I'm picking up. But it won't take me long to get all the mucus I actually need. are where I'm going to expect to find the old parts. Can get a, can get a Twitch re uh, recap. That sounds odd. I don't know why they wouldn't do that. Boxes here first, if I can. Those master teams can 
and sometimes drop old parts too. But they also take a little while to kill, so I'm not entirely happy to see them. Mainly just because it's harder to get them to group up. Because they have a ranged attack, they're happy to just sit back and shoot at you instead of grouping up to let you hit multiple of them at once. Oh, also, these fish are the scariest things in here. They don't hit especially hard, but they have a poison attack that can do a lot of damage. Okay. skill that lets me do more damage when I'm at low health, but I don't actually have any skill points in that yet. So I'm not having any bonus from being at low health right now. Actually, that's a point. I'm at lower level than I usually am at this point, because I wasn't cutting down as many trees earlier in the run. to level three. So I don't actually expect to get as many old parts in level three. But I still want to be here uh, because I can get uh, industrial engines, which are hard to get by other means. skill point that I haven't spent yet. Excellent. Okay, so I do now have one skill point into that ability I mentioned that gives me in, uh, increased damage at low health, so I really don't want to take any damage at this point. Oh, uh, that's probably going to kill me from poison damage. Yeah.
Eh, if I do die, I prefer to die at the start of a room so I don't have to run as far to get back. That's unfortunate. Thirty old parts. Actually, making pretty good time on those. I haven't gotten unlucky. apparently. Okay, I got an industrial engine from that. So I'm up to two industrial engines uh, because I got one earlier. Wait, did I get one or two earlier? I can't remember. I'm going to assume I got one then. Uh, so I only need five. I'll get them from the blue chests here. the meat I find down here, but uh, yeah, I, I do eat the apple slices. It's yummy. Fantastic. I've had really good luck here. So that chest right there will give me... Yeah, okay, that's a good place to die. That chest over there will give me... Uh, a... Um, industrial engine, and then I'll get one more for completing the boss. And that'll be it. I don't need any more after that, so I can go back to level 2. Uh, where I will find uh, more old parts. Speaking of which, I accidentally shifted old parts off my bar. Let's go ahead and put those back. So I'm at 33 right now, so I haven't actually gotten very many. Actually, yeah, I think I've only gotten one down here in level 3. It's actually been bad luck, because I did break plenty of boxes.
boss is going to drop uh, an industrial engine, which I need. It's going to be the last one I need, actually, which is great. Uh, it's also going to drop a hat, which I can wear as armor, but unfortunately I can't put that hat on until I get to level 20, and I'm currently level 16, so too bad. I'll be able to wear it a bit later on in the run. So yeah, armor is... Uh, locked up according to what level you are. You can't wear a high level armor unless you are at high level. Which is actually unfortunate. Because I'm going to be very much under leveled throughout the entire second half of this run. And I will not be able to wear the high level armor that the game is going to reward me with for finishing any of the missions. See the mask team there in time. by a flyer imp. That's embarrassing. how long it should take to take out flyer imps. Yo, good couple of crits there. from the fishing day event to extend the amount of time I can stay down here. If I get extremely lucky here... It doesn't even have to be that lucky. I only need to get nine gold parts. And I can actually finish this uh, with just one day. Uh, so time is still passing. And this is going to be the last run I can do for today. Today. 
If I can get all the old parts I need today and not have to do another long walk out here, then that would be fantastic. Dancer left in here. And I haven't gotten particularly a lot of boxes yet. 46. Mm, it's still possible. Okay, 47, so I need basically need five more levels. That's possible. If I get out of here in one day, it'll be the first time that's ever happened. Pretty lucky here, then. Need to get four old parts from these boxes. And there they go flying. Looks like a no, unfortunately. Oh, yeah, I only got one. Okay, well, I still need three more old parts. You know, it might not be worth going back there just for three. I'm going to have to go to the mine a bit later on, and it wouldn't take that long to just find old parts in the mine. Probably would have had time to walk home. I didn't know if I'd be able to walk home or not, so I just started breaking some rocks and trees here. Uh, well, I got 
five. Just recording the amount of copper I got in here. Okay. Break those rocks. Okay, that's fine. Harbor bus stop now. That's the upgrade I need to be able to make steel tools. Uh, I still need to get the tools, though. Or I still need to get the, uh, the materials for the tools. I'm just going to involve making a, an industrial furnace. Oh, let's go start that mission. Also, sorry, I'm not coming up with replies to... Uh, that's what you're saying about the uh, so role-playing game. Okay. I am reading what you're saying. I just been sucking the we actually talk. Can you help us? Oh, hard to uh, concentrate on the speed running and uh, come up with uh, stuff to say about that. I'm not that good at conversation. It's probably not a good trait for streamer, but oh well. I make do. Uh, let's see, what do I need here? Oh, I need to go to the com or to the research center. I've already researched the industrial furnace. It just hasn't arrived yet. So let's go ahead and make this because I can do that. Need simple circuits and steel. There's steel, there's simple circuits. need this for making steel plates and I'm gonna need steel plates to make the industrial furnace that I need for making the steel tools or for making the manganese steel that I need for making the steel tools Them. Great. Excellent. So now I think I just need to sleep. And let the clock let the calendar move forward until I get the industrial furnace. 
don't remember when I actually researched that. Four days, 22, uh, two more days, apparently. Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, that'll be a Friday, that's a good day. I'm just gonna go ahead and sleep twice to get to that day. Higgins to take a uh, take a DD transport from the Commerce Guild today, so I need to go babysit him, but I have time to do this first. So I'm going to need some of these. Some more of these, and I think I've got enough bloodstones to finish the run, so I don't need to worry about that anymore. Uh, yes, I'm going to need six more, and I have nine, so that's fine. And there's manganese steel. Let's go ahead and make that. And let's go babysit Higgins. interacted with Higgins just to get him to stop looking at the fountain. So otherwise Higgins will look at the fountain until 9 o'clock and then won't have time to take a DD transport. Which is quite rude. Okay, so there's three DD transports left on the board. I need Higgins to take one of them. It's Friday, so he should take one. I don't know if that's truly a world record, but uh, certainly earlier than I usually do. Uh, usually if I get here a bit earlier in the day, I can distract Higgins from the fountain just by running into him without having to interact with him and meet him. Wasn't able to do that this time though, so we, we will meet Higgins. And let's sleep. Okay, so the steel should now be done. So manganese steel, from which I'm gonna do the final upgrades for my tools. So let's do that. Excellent. So that's the fisherman's axe and fisherman's pickaxe. Excellent. Okay, so I have those now. Uh, today is Saturday, so I need to do an inspection. Oh, I needed to put stuff in my inventory. I need to know how much copper and tin I already have. Let's go ahead and grab those out. Okay, 
So I'm going to do my third mining trip today. down to now that I have the iron or the steel axe. Trees fall down so fast now. The iron wood trees still take a little while. First thing I'm going to do is uh, search for some relics. Because I still need three more old parts. And I'd rather not walk all the way back out to the sewage plant for them. There's one old part. Loose spring, that's useless. actually costing that much time because I do need manganese anyway. Okay, just need one more old part. that time. through iron as much of the way there as I can. Okay, 
is the last old part. Okay. Well, for I think the first time ever, I have gotten all the old parts I need with only one trip to the sewage plant. How much manganese did I get? Let's see, 150. I need some more. I need, uh, what, 300? Yeah, I need 313 manganese. So, a little over twice as much as I've gotten so far. And I'm going to need 2,397 iron. So, I'm gonna be in here for a little while collecting iron. Quite a little while. Yeah, now that I have the highest level pickaxe, uh, I'm just collecting all the remaining iron I need to finish the run. Uh, we shouldn't ever, ever have to come back here. And yep, yeah, all the old parts. All done. up my uh, my stamina several times while I'm in here. Quite possibly using the last of the food from the fishing day. Well, the last of the uh, healing or the stamina food. got the first stack complete. There we go. Stack of 999 done. We're into the second stack. So I need two complete stacks and I need the third stack to show the number, let's see, 399. <laughs> tend to stand with my back against a wall because the the range uh, maximum range that you can mine at is determined by the distance between your target and the camera not the player so having my back to a wall effectively gives me a much much longer range comfy sounds good and that's stamina out again. Okay, I'm into the third stack. Got a really large 
huge vein of iron here. Which is pretty good. Sometimes I have to like chain together a bunch of smaller veins. Just kind of bounce between them, but this one's just kind of got all the iron I need. Okay, 100 more to go. That's it, that's all the iron I need. Okay, uh, I need manganese though. I see some over there. I don't see any closer. Okay. Oh, well, there was some right there. That's fine. I can take this. So I need uh, 313 manganese ore. About 200. And there we go. Why can I not cut that tree down? the things I need in here. I also need to make sure I have enough soil. Don't need much more. Okay, so I need 366 copper. And I also need to make sure that I get 395 pen. That's enough soil. Got a bunch of iron here, so let's start working on it. Welcome back. last of the food from the fishing day, so now I'm eating the, uh, the sewage apples. Okay, I have the copper I need now, but I'm short of 10. So I need to keep going until my 10 count gets to 395. Well, exactly 395. Uh, my math better work here. Oh, that's not a tree I can cut down. Probably have enough hardwood now. Well, let's see, I should have 100. Yep, I do, okay. Find a chest to dump all of this ore in. I've got enough wood now, I don't mind crafting some chests. I 
it's valuable stuff I can sell. I'm gonna keep it in my, in my inventory for now. How much wood do I have? A lot of stack. Uh, I can make a lot more in this wood here. Yeah, I'm gonna keep the stuff I can sell for now. Okay, and let's start making stuff. Uh, first up. Ten, twenty, I need twelve more, so that's twenty-six, and thirty-two, that's all copper I need to make. Excellent, let's start working on some stone brick. So I need forty, so I can make twenty there, and twenty there. Okay, that's done. Uh, iron. Uh, I need a whole bunch. Uh, let's actually make 10 alloy first. So, 8, 10 alloy. That's done. Decide. Sure, let's just start working on the iron. So that is 50 iron. Sunday so I can do an inspection again. me to yeah so I'm gonna get plenty of wood here so push the clock forwards I can exchange wood for stone up to a stack per day. I have a lot more stone than I'm going to need, so let's just go ahead and take care of wood. I now have definitely more wood than I need, so I don't have to worry about that at all. And let's do some inspections. I actually couldn't see either of those defects. I just clicked on the two most common places they are, in my experience. And it worked. Okay, we've done four inspections now. to sell stuff while I was in town. Uh, it's fine. I can do it later. Making charcoal. So it's Twenty and seven. Twenty-seven. Okay, copper pipes done. I also need the copper plates.
Higgins. You can ignore the fountain. Good Higgins. Okay, there are two more. Two more DD transports I need Higgins to take. Come on, Higgins. You can do it. go sell some things and see how much money I have right now. of money. to expand the lot once because uh, I'm going to have to upgrade my assembly station. Should be able to make the loudspeaker for the tree farm now. So they're having trouble with a pan bat infestation. gonna try to scare the bats off. Get some pan bats away. Well, this actually, I'm afraid of you're afraid of. They actually left. That actually worked. Uh, the pan sure has been resolved. Thanks. Okay, so one last mission before I can get the tree farm up and working again. And giving me free wood. Uh, need to make an irrigation system for them, and I don't know how to do that, so we have to go talk to Petra. Something to revive. Since you're building an ear, you have them. Great. Yeah, there's still plenty of pan bats around. They're just not bothering the trees anymore. You can see them outside the city walls. And yes, they are cute. Very cute.
know I have some extra material, some extra wood. So I'm gonna go ahead and start working on stuff I need for the next missions. done some research while I was at the research center. I have the data disks for it. I can do some stuff today, though. So we're going to do that first. <clears throat> so that was the uh, the blender, which I'm going to need later on. And after that, there are only two more optional pieces of research I need to do. Well, not optional, because I have to do them, but uh, stuff that I don't have to do for specific stories. Like the irrigation system. I remember to put all the stuff I needed for this in my inventory. Oh, I did. Excellent. Okay, this is going to make a bit of a mess. It's going to move all my machines around. I now have the upgraded assembly station that I need for actually making the irrigation stuff. And I also have a stable, which is going to be very useful in a couple of days once I get a horse. It'll be very useful in a couple of days because it will allow me to get a horse. And horses are valuable. So let's see, I need 40 two charcoal, okay. Start working on that. is also cute. That, That is also very undoubtedly true. Today's Friday, so I need Higgins to take the last DD transport. Oh, 
Bronze pipes are done. Carbon steel is done. That's all done. The iron is all done, which means I can make welding rods. I need 42 of those. Okay, that's done. I need to make some more hardwood planks. Ooh, can I do that? Uh, I don't think I can actually do that. I can do that later. Actually, it would be useful to do that now. Hold on. I've got steel tools. It wouldn't take very long to cut this tree down. Or these trees. So much faster than doing it with bronze tools. There's a lot to keep track of, even with the notes I have. Notes do help a lot, though. Took the last DD transport. Hi. Hi. Did you discover that should be enough data disk? The data corruption. That should have unlocked the comprehensive uh, grinder, which I do not need, but I have to unlock that before I can unlock the thing that I do need. Then that chest above to the tools. Just that I stopped taking the time to pick it up at some point. Missed that twice, so I didn't actually get full credit for that. So I might need to do an extra inspection. Thank you. 
just looking at the wrong line of my notes there for a moment. It's fine, I figured it out. Water engine's done. Next up, I need a water storage system. Just gonna require hardwood planks, copper pipes. Sprinklers. So those are done. And the last thing I need to make for the tree farm is the water wheel. Uh, which requires a chest open. Uh, need some hardwood. Some steel. Probably going to need some more of that. Some old parts. And then the buckets. I've got six. I need uh, six more. math working okay so that's everything I need for that today is Sunday so let's go do an inspection Excellent. Okay, so it's quite a long walk to go uh, do all the upgrades for the tree farm, so I'm not actually going to do it uh, until I get a horse, which uh, is going to be possible in a couple of days. Yeah, it can sometimes slow me down if it's hard to find where the difference is.
Okay, so tomorrow uh, a new side mission is going, going to become available, which is that uh, old McDonald is having some trouble with his stable and it needs us to, uh, to help repair it for him. We are very happy to do that, and then tomorrow he will be able to sell us a horse, which we are going to be using to avoid walking at this horrible slow pace for the rest of the run. You see, big. I was hoping you could get great. Looks good as new. Excellent. So that's done. Just double check. Yep, we've got plenty of money. So tomorrow I can get a horse and then uh, finish uh, upgrading the tree farm. Oh, uh, McDonald gave me a couple of calves, so I'm just going to stick them in a box. And then ignore them for the next uh, most of a year that this run is going to last. I I'm sure they'll be fine. And I have a horse! Yay! Okay. So that's done, so let's go... Where am I going? Going this way, okay. Let's go build an irrigation system. And right after we finish this, uh, I'm gonna go deal with the whole toxic water situation that's been a bit of a problem for, what, over an hour now. Uh, horse, can you come back here? Thank you. Excellent, and I have a horse, uh, which means, actually, hold on, I have this, I have that, I have that, I have flipped controls, I'm gonna go ahead and use the bus here. Uh, we need to go up the hill to uh, just below uh, Bassanio Heights and repair an elevator, because uh, the Civil Corps wants to go up there to investigate uh, a possible cause for the uh, the contamination in the water or a possible source it's actually the big uh, big office block on the on the left here didn't really get a good view of it okay, so now i need to talk to arlo to let him know i upgraded the or repaired the elevator, so they can now go and inves investigate that. I wonder where Arlo is right now. Looks like up by the Civil Corps headquarters. Yes. Yes, they could. That wouldn't be as much fun, now Great would it? Work. What happened? Right. You two are pretty thank you for coming forward. Like there's a depending on where I land in the cycle, there's a reasonable chance I'm actually gonna scale the cliff instead of using the elevator. 
And the elevator I have to build for Molly later is the same... Uh, same story. It's actually pretty good odds that I'm just gonna climb the cliff instead of using the elevator I build for her. I'm going to come back to the tree farm just to finish this off. So uh, the tree farm is going to send me free uh, wooden materials every day, but the default options are not that good for me, so I am going to make some adjustments. Okay, and now the tree farm is done. nothing for me to do today I don't think I just need to sleep I have yep I've got everything I need hold on do I Something slightly confusing in my notes. Not sure why, but I definitely need to make more of those. And let's sleep. I actually had everything I needed. Oh, right. Martial arts tournament. So Petra's not going to be here. Merlin's here. Merlin doesn't go to the tournament, I guess. Yeah, Gail and Petra are going to be down by the event. So let's go talk to... Uh, actually, no. Don't need to talk to Petra. I was going to do some different research, but I can only do that inside the research center, so never mind, I'm going up the hill. And not a good point in the cycle, so let's... Okay, well, it would have been better to... Ah. Okay, so since I had trouble... I actually lost time over just taking the elevator, but I mean, I shouldn't have uh, had trouble climbing that. So, whoops. Here to fix. Yep. What are you? I'm investigating. I don't think Duvo's. I don't know. I've got a bad. If thou dare. Oh, this shouldn't we get some back? No worries. Okay, so the short version is we tried to fix a pipe and it didn't work, and now we have to fight our way through a bunch of a bunch of rats. 
And it turns out the rats are also responsible for contaminating the water supply. So they are they are not making very many friends around here. Detour here to get some data disks. Five data disks. It's a pretty good number. Hopefully, I don't get unlucky. Now we have another boss fight. We already killed the rat prince earlier on in the run. We now get to fight the rat king. So it turns out the rats are the ones who've been poisoning the water supply, but the rat king thinks we're the one who's being rude, so I don't know. been a crit. I did over half of that rat's uh, health bar in one hit. Also, that was unfortunate. I would have liked to have stayed at low health there. Get out of here. Oh, whoops, that was silly. <laughs> okay, take the next cycle. Didn't mean to push forward there. Just kind of did that by accident. Okay. This must be the and it turns out this valve right here is what you fixes the it. whole problem for us. Hooray. I'm sure the rats won't figure out how to turn it again. Anyway. I'm going to... Falling in a pit is slightly faster than walking across the room. And now we need to go tell Gail that we have solved the problem.
scale should be over at this end. A talking rat. Yo! We can finally wear that piece of armor that we've been lugging around for ages. That should be the last inspection I have to do. Let me just make sure I have milk, I have these, I have that. Excellent, let's sleep. Welcome here, Ted. Hope that your day is going well. Um. Wait. Oh, right. Like, why am I coming here? Oh, right. The next story mission. to be relic really alien but we have a problem what's wrong the relic knocked over got it okay so a uh, mysterious thing fell out of the sky and crashed in the collapsed wasteland and they need me to come help out with it figuring out what's going on and it's going to turn out that uh it is the uh the remnants of an old space station from before uh the apocalypse, which finally deorbited. It's a robot. How rude! And it turns out there's no, no. one survivor. Who are you exactly? A robot I'm named Ak, who has been in low power mode for the last what 300 years or something. Whoa there! I'm not panicking. We gotta show. Yeah, we should. Please call. I'm not saying. Boss. Why are we even. Look, Mr. Well. So you're not an assassin. Look, you have a point. What should we do then? Get rid of it right. I say we let him stay. How dare you? He's a living a. You know, I can go on. I'd say. Okay. And I want. Okay, so now our he job is to up. cheer Ak Mr. up. Because it turns out everybody he knows is oh, now dead. Sure thing. Or new. Life is hard. Um, but that's fine, because we have milk. Yep. That's all it took. But now he needs a crutch, because he's kind of got a bum leg now, so... I'm going to try giving him a broom. Sadly, that didn't work. Uh, so how about a mop? Let's give this a try. Mop also didn't work. Okay. Uh, that's fine. Uh, there's a toilet plunger up here. Let's try that. Let's give this a try. Perfect. Excellent. Uh, but he also needs a new hat, so let's get a hat. Uh, that's not the first hat we try. This one is. There we go. Uh, bucket. Let's give this a try. Okay. Bucket did not work. Now we try the flower pot. Let's give this a try. Nope, that didn't work either. Okay. Uh, how about saucepan? Let's give this a try. 
Beautiful. Excellent. And it's very fitting, because it turns out that Act is a chef. So he's going to be hanging out around towns, making friends, and uh, doing some cooking. Oh, great. Have you decided what will happen? Not yet. What do you think? As my wife used to... Hello? Hi. Did you discover some... That should be enough data disks. The data corruption... Okay, so that was a 50-50 chance right there. I either just unlocked the electric furnace... Or the comprehensive cutter. It's the first one that I have to unlock that's not certain. And I need the electric furnace. I do not need the comprehensive cutter. So if I get unlucky, I'm going to have to spend 20 more data disks. I forgot to get the fiber cloth while I was over there. One of the other resources I'm going to need in the very late game is going to be crystals, uh, which are very hard or very slow to get normally. So I am just going to grow some crystal trees. And that's how I'm going to solve that problem. Just keep sleeping. Oops. Okay, so the next story mission is going to be the construction of a bridge over, over the other river. Actually, over the same river, actually. Um, but a uh, different part of it. Uh, we're going to need a bridge over to the Afala Desert, because uh, Mayor Gale wants to establish a trade route over that way. And uh, the bridge is a very big project, very complicated, lots of resources involved, and I'm sure that Higgins will very much enjoy doing absolutely all of it. Because it turns out if we just sleep for a while, uh, Higgins gets fed up and just does it for us. Thanks, Higgins. Gonna do some shopping, but I'm actually gonna wait until I know for certain whether or not I got the uh, electric furnace or not. Okay, so that fireside meeting I just missed was where the uh, Porsche Bridge 
was announced. So because of that situation, um, it's actually going to be a while before I need to do anything. Yes. Okay, we got the electric furnace. Got good luck this run. That is excellent. Okay, so let's see what I need to do now. Um, I'm gonna head over to the research center. Yay! I don't need to do any more research here, though. I am gonna get some power stones. Oh, and my notes still show that I need to buy 14 of those. I don't. I'm only buying 10 right now. And that's been working. That needs to be updated. out of here. And I'm going to make some of the resources I need for the mission immediately after the next one I'm going to do. I'm going to be making a, a tunnel driller. Which is never actually going to be used, but we, we still have to make it. Okay, now I have nothing technically to do... Apart from wait for the next mission. While I'm doing that, I'm going to go ahead and work on some stuff that I can do. Oh, whoops. That's actually not what I needed. That's what I needed. Oh, that's why, because I clicked on the wrong thing. That's where I got that from. Okay, well, slight confusion there. And I only need this for one thing, I think, which is just making some rope. I'm going to need to make some iron. pull this furnace over here so I can access all the furnaces together. And let's start making other stuff that I need. So I need strength into glass. So let's just make regular glass first. So 24 regular glass. I need 12 tin alloy. And then charcoal.
the effects. Okay, 75. And go back to bed. to make the blender too. Let me go ahead and do that. I did research the blender earlier. So that's what I need the last of this uh, copper for. Um, simple circuit. There they are. Grinding blades, which I don't currently have. Let's make a few of those. Strengthened glass is done. I'm um, going to need some hardwood planks too, so let's go ahead and make 25 of those. Oh, and bearings, I need to make three of them. Then I need 10 more to get to 60. And sleep. Steel. Need a lot of steel. Seventy five more. Today's the third. Uh, the next story mission happens on the 18th.
all the steel I need. Yes, this is one of two periods uh, when I'm going to be doing a lot of sleeping. Just waiting for Higgins to do stuff for me. Uh, the two are pretty much back to back, too, unfortunately. Okay, that's enough of that. these. Let's do those first. It's ten more days. Just done. Let's see about just doing the last of the processing on the steel. So we need steel frames, we need 16 of those. And 11 steel shells. She uses up the last of the welding rods. Wooden planks have been made. Uh, I also need composite wooden boards, which I'll need to wait a few days on. And that'll be most of the, uh, the stuff I have to process by hand done. plates. Couldn't tell what I was missing there for a second. I believe that's the last of the bloodstones I'll need for the whole run. So those are done. Let's go ahead and make the electric furnace. So this will allow me to process uh, aluminum.
Okay, it's two more nights, and then someone's gonna sh someone's gonna show up. Who who is that person gonna be? Hey, sorry to bother you so early. What hey, hello, Mint. How you doing? Sure. There's. It is indeed Mint. Yeah, Mint has arrived in town and is uh, helping Gale with uh, some of the construction stuff. He's been, uh, currently working on a tunnel through, uh, through part of the, the, the Afala Desert. Uh, which is supposed to connect Portia up to uh, the next city along, which is Sandrock. They're having some trouble with the tunnel, so they need me to come take a look on the way. I'm gonna loot some chests. And there's a type of wood that I can't get from the tree farm, which is poplar, so I'm gonna get that here. Ah, oh, you're lagging quite a bit behind. This is one of only two remaining uses I have for this axe. I'm gonna get some poplar wood here, and then a little bit later on, I'm gonna get a little bit of purple resin. And that's it. I'm gonna head and switch my sword off of my hotbar, because uh, I'm gonna get a new weapon in just a minute, which is gonna be more powerful. The Iron Sword served me well through the first half of the run. But uh, we've got more powerful powerful weapons now. So let's go grab one of those. Oh, no, no, no. Can anyone hear me? Uh, there's two upgrades we're going to get. Oh, thank the hell. Keep on worrying. You mean the one Lincoln? Yeah, that's the one. So they've had a little bit of a cave-in. Sam, come on. We got... Just a little bit of a cave-in, and so I need to I came as fast as go I through uh, the old mine, uh, that old mine? Uh, to try to get Do to them from the other else? side. Now I'm going to run straight here on a horse, and yet Remington is still going to get here before me. Ready to go? Okay, here we And as soon as we get in here, Remington is going to give me a new weapon. Before the fig this, you might... And we now have a core hammer. So, hammers are pretty powerful. Uh, they can actually stun lock many enemies. <clears throat> Which uh, is not going to be demonstrated for a little while. I'm just going to be running by all the enemies here. Familiar with that route. We'll need some power. That worked.
So these it said that they were. Right. Through the left. Okay. Some of the routing in Ingol's Mine I'm not as familiar with uh, anymore. It's one of the recent updates to the, uh, to the game. Well, one of the updates in the last year uh, added some new uh, some new geometry that uh, closed off a few of the shortcuts I've been taking. Actually, having to do this closer to the intended way now. Still skip a cutscene here, though. It's supposed to be a trigger for a cutscene back there, but you can just walk around it. Finally, gonna use our hammer on something. Turns out this robot down here was responsible for all the problems they were having. in the way this must be the th what was that thing i think it must have been a looks like we got here in the you have no idea all thanks to the builder we were looking for a way out that door how did you get long story so that's what's what about the tunnel i think so well, I'm glad everyone. Okay, so we're out of there. I'm gonna head home, but I'm gonna do a little mining trip on the way. First thing I'm going to do is do some relic hunting. Uh, I just upgraded the relic scanner, so I can do that now. So I can now see the outlines of the relics I'm looking for. Which is very useful, because I can immediately tell that this is an advanced engine, which is what I'm looking for. I need three of those. Uh, that's not. Uh, that might be or might not be. I can't tell from this angle. Uh, looks like it is. Okay. That's not. That is excellent. Okay. Oh, while I'm mining down through some magnesium here, let's go ahead and collect some more of it. So I'm going to need 289 magnesium. But the main thing I'm going to need here is uh, titanium. Or not titanium, uh, aluminum. Titanium will be at the very end of the run. down, grab this engine, and then mine across to the other one. I really should record in my notes how many engines I'm collecting at each point, because currently I'm just having to remember that. full stack of aluminum, uh, 939. Let's get this on the bar where I can see it. Just 
looked at my data disk count too. I have 44 of them. And I actually only need 25 at this point to finish the run, so we are good on data disks. Oh, whoops. Uh, that's health. Not stamina. So yeah, there are three types of food that I get from the fishing day event. Uh, one, I think, gives me a temporary uh, defense boost, which I don't I don't care about. I don't need that. So all of that food gets sold. Uh I get some food that gives me uh, stamina regeneration. That is very useful. All of that gets used. I eat all of it. Uh, there's a third type of food that I get which uh, heals quite a bit of health. Uh, I don't need all of it, so I tend to sell a little bit of it and keep the, the rest of it for the late game. Is there anything in that chest that could possibly be valuable to me. I don't think there is. I don't think it's worth walking over there to open it. Can't be anything in there that I need at this point. Like what, a power stone maybe? I have plenty. Don't need data disks anymore. Old parts, I don't need any of them anymore either. Okay, so the equipment uh, that they were using got damaged in the cave-in, uh, the tunnel, so uh, Mint is going to send me a letter in two days asking if I can help them out by building them a new driller, which I am happy to do for them. They're never actually going to finish the tunnel, but, you know, I'll still make a driller for them if they want one. Actually, could have started on uh, aluminum there. Back up the screen mirroring decided to stop. Oh, oh dear. Oh, welcome, welcome back. Oh, and enjoy, uh, enjoy your banana. Uh, that planter box is for a different side mission I don't care about. That's going to go in a box, and... Never going to be referred to again. Okay, so I need some of these. I need uh, some of the industrial engines. used to it, so you accidentally closed the app. Ah. Uh, that makes sense. Well, welcome back. I can't believe you got the ideas on this project. There we go. That's the driller done. Well, that was mint. We're not going to see mint much more. Guess let's get the electric furnace out here. 
condensed power stones, stainless aluminum, and let's go to bed. So the aluminum does take a very long time to make. Luckily, we have a long time. So the next thing we actually have to do for a story mission is actually not until spring. So yeah, this is the longer uh, period of just sleeping. I'm going to be stepping outside every few days to harvest the trees occasionally. Warnings. Here are the adult you'll need to use. And deal with turning down a few missions and processing like that mission. I don't want to accept that one. And uh, also processing my aluminum. That was 37 more. Okay, so I just need 20 more, or 25 more stainless aluminum. I used to have to make a lot more uh, aluminum at this point in the run. It took ages. Uh, but I realized I don't actually need to use that much aluminum before I bring the factory online. And once I have the factory, I can just tell it to make all the remaining aluminum very quickly and easily. Okay, 25. That's it. That's all the aluminum I need to make manually. Really good time right now. I think the new wood routing worked quite nicely. So it's twenty five aluminum plate. And go ahead and make a lift controls unit now. I'm going to need that for the next story mission. And I already have the materials for it. So yeah, the next mission I have to do anything about is actually uh, spring 12th. So not quite halfway through spring. Need to make 11 more aluminum plates. Uh, the electric furnace will probably need to be refueled. Oh, nope, never mind. It's just done. Okay, that mission has been cancelled. 
I didn't pick it up in time. Excellent. Higgins will deal with that. And let me make a lift control unit. Uh, so let's see, I'm going to need engines. Uh, iron. There's the iron I made. And then a circuit. Definitely have enough apple slices to finish the run with, so let's go ahead and get that out of there, or I'm going to start absentmindedly uh, tending to it, even though I don't need to. Yeah, there have been runs in the past where I ended the run with, like, two or three hundred um apple slices, and that's that's a bit of a waste. I don't need that many. Don't want to risk running out, though. So, I'm just sleeping until the 17th now. Uh, there's going to be a cutscene. Uh, Mint is going to come and ask me to make a wind turbine, which is uh, actually a fun mission. But uh, Higgins will do it for me, so. Good morning, me again. I that's me. That means good morning, man. After some consideration, I know they use a lot of these in highway. And that's too bad. So I have nothing to do now until the 10th day of spring. The next mission is on the 12th, but there's a cutscene I need to watch on the 10th. So nothing to do other than uh, just check on the trees once a week or so to pick the crystals off of them. Yep, we, we are hibernating through through the winter. Let's see if the trees are ready on this day. Better to wait a day. Eh, I didn't know that though. Okay. Routing with the trees isn't super tight. This doesn't matter too much. Welcome to the new year. I'm pretty sure I lost track of days in the middle of that. Check on the trees. It's five more days until I need to go watch a cutscene. Okay, well, that was enough.
It's just taking me some time to set my hot bar up for the next thing I know I need to make. Uh, the next thing that's going to happen is uh, a new friend is going to come to town. Uh, an explorer named Molly. Who is going to be helping investigate some of the, uh, the other ruins around the town. Uh, we were a little bit uh, dismayed to find that giant robot underneath where we were trying to dig a tunnel. So we're going to be exploring some of the others just to make sure there aren't any other unpleasant surprises left over from, uh, from the old world. And the first place that uh, Molly is going to be investigating is uh, an old ruin up on the Western Plateau. Over on the western side of town, which I have not been to yet. But uh, Molly can't get up there because uh, she can't climb the, the cliff, so she needs us to make an elevator. Morning. Got a moment? Did you Morning. My... Okay, then that... Anyway, I have a task. An old exploration map shows that... The... Okay, then. I've... Usually there's a cutscene with uh, Dana at the start of that day, too. Oh, nope, I need that and that. Uh, what else do I need? I need... One of these, and two of these. That's what I needed the... Uh, the ropes for earlier. There we go. So we're gonna go install an elevator. This should also be the last time uh, I'm going to be using my axe and pickaxe. It's just a few remaining resources I need, which I can get up on Western Plateau. So let's get my axe and pickaxe out. light from these rocks up here to make concrete. It's only one mission we need concrete for. But uh, it, is, it is a very good mission. And these trees next to me can drop purple resin too. And uh, again, there's only one mission I need that for. I don't need very much of it. But I do need to get a little bit of it. And I have now gotten a little bit of it, which means I don't need an axe anymore. Be the 
last what I need. Yep, okay. So now we need to go tell Molly that we've built her her elevator. Actually saves time. All right. Okay, almost done with this mission. Well, the mission's done. I just need to work on making the concrete now. Other thing I needed the blender for. Where's the blender? There's the blender. And I think I need to sleep two days. Yep, looks like it. So now Molly has been investigating the ruin up on the Western Hello. Plateau. Good oh, here's Dana. Anyway, I'm doing a survey on this great thank you. That timing's actually a bit faster than the way I usually do that. Yes, the Okay. So uh, Molly needs some help with uh, with opening a door. So, I'm gonna go open the door for her. And yet again, we caught a good cycle on the elevator. Alright, are you re okay? Oh, also, I'm done with this hammer now. We're gonna get an upgraded one. Too many days. Remember what Molly said, there aren't too many dangerous monsters in here. I don't think Molly's trying to show off, she just doesn't have a concept of what counts as a lot of enemies for the rest of us. Please don't die during the cutscene. That's right, keep attacking Molly. Would you look at that? What is it? Oh, I it's think I need to heal a little bit. All source? Oh, brother. It's. Okay, so I just picked up the Warhammer down there, a the chest. So that's going to be my weapon of choice for the rest of the run. Okay. Okay, and then there's a giant metal pig we have to kill. Not sure why. Locked Molly's attack somehow. That was odd. Yeah, I really want to keep it focused on me because Molly can actually do damage to this thing. Because Molly isn't hopelessly under leveled for this part of the game. There we go. Well, that's the fastest that's ever happened. That went really smoothly. Okay, let's get out of here. I'll need to take it back to the. Ah, 
And now the game's throwing some, uh, some armor at us that uh, would be so much better than what we're currently wearing. Sadly, it's high-level armor, which means we can't wear it. And armor is uh, kind of locked uh, behind levels. So I'm going to be at low level for the whole of the run, so I can only wear low-level armor. I can use powerful weapons like the Warhammer. She's sparkling back there. And two nights sleep again. So another new fellow is going to be coming to town. Uh, this is going to be Musa, who's going to be helping uh, Gale with uh, upgrading the harbor. And then we sleep. And I sleep for three nights this time. Okay, so then I'm going to need to meet them down at the harbor. And uh, they're going to give me my first commission related to the upgrade of the harbor, which is going to be a lighthouse. They want to build a, uh, a new navigation light. Sounds like a good idea to me. I like lighthouses. And I actually have to help with this one. We are out of the game, or out of the part of the game where they uh, will just let me sleep and skip things. Oh, wrong way. Yeah, I basically skipped an entire main ah, story arc day. with all that sleeping I did earlier. Right, sir. Why don't you take this? We haven't built a light. It's festival day, so I don't need to go to the research center to find Petra. She's going to be, I think, on her way here. Yep. A light source for the light. Oh, hold on. Did I actually? Oh, that should be enough. Oh, I'm glad I realized that. I realized just in time I had not talked to her the correct number of times. I need to talk, talk to her twice. Not once. Because, of course, I don't know how to make a lighthouse. So, Petra's going to have to help me with that. glass I made earlier was for. And then we need to give the lighthouse to Albert, I believe. So yeah, so Albert works at uh, A&G Construction where I've been going to upgrade my work table, my assembly station and all that, build the stable and all that, and he's, uh, let's see, I need to see price here, uh, and he's the one who's mostly in charge of uh, the actual commissions for building up the harbor. So, another two days pass, and I'm going to need to go talk to Albert again. Just about this one's a toughie as well. I'm sure you, you'll need to talk with the lady we're commissioning you. Okay. So uh, I'm going to need to build a crane for loading and offloading cargo. I'm going to 
go ahead and trigger another mission at the same time while I'm here. Instead of going straight to the... Um, oh, instead of going straight to the research center. Ooh, that actually may not have been enough. Ah, that's close enough. I can wait just a few minutes. So if I wait until 9 o'clock, another, another cutscene will trigger when I enter the town. And Petra is at this meeting, so I can just talk to her here, and I, and I need this cutscene to happen anyway. So that right there is an optimization I only realized last week. That's actually the first time I've done it in a run. So, yeah. Still room to improve this. So yeah, so that cutscene, uh, I kind of glossed it over, but uh, we found a, a really cool looking computer in that, uh, uh, in the dungeon with the pig. But it's now been stolen from the research center. And they're blaming people at the church, and the church says they didn't do it, so we're going to have to help sort that out. train. Let's take it down to the harbor. Okay, that is the crane. is done. And we sleep. So I need to sleep until the 26th of now. So another new thing is going to happen here. Um, so Gail's going to, Mayor Gale is going to hold me down to the, uh, uh, down to the, oh, what's called the harbor. Hey, Mr. Mayor. I just found out that. So it turns out How we're building a, uh, a warehouse here. Everything I... Why would he and do someone didn't, didn't want us well, to do that, so they burnt it down. Yes, that was very rude the of them. You'll have to figure it. And then I'm going to go sleep. There's nothing I actually need to do about that immediately, but uh, what's eventually going to be found is that they can rebuild the warehouse, but there was already an air conditioner installed in it that was destroyed in the fire, so they're going to need me to uh, somehow obtain a new air conditioner for them. Um, 
Oh, actually, I need to talk to Petra on this day. I was trying to think if I could skip something there, but I can't. Okay, so I just agreed to help uh, investigate the stolen computer, so I need to track Sam down. Nora asked you to help. This one's a tough nut. Why don't you go over the... And while we're over here, we're going to talk to Petra, too, and uh, say, help, I need an air conditioner. A large air... And we don't have to give her data disks for this one, because it's going to turn out that there's nothing we can do about that. Uh, we can't actually make an air conditioner, so I'm going to have to uh, try to try to steal one from uh, one of the old ruins. This is all going to be very convenient, because the place where we think there might be an air conditioner is uh, Wow Industries, which is up on Bassanio Heights. And our investigations that we just made, we found a hat behind the research center, which belongs to Tuss. So they are apparently still up to their old games, and Huss and Tuss also live up on Bassanio Heights, so I'm going to get to do two missions at once. anything I needed. Nope, I should be good. We just need to go up the hill and steal an air conditioner. Okay, I'm just going to take the elevator this time. We had a reasonably good cycle with it. If I just missed one, then I'd try to climb the cliff. Okay, so we're going back into Wire Industries again. Actually, uh, tried to spend some uh, skill points earlier, but I think I must have cancelled instead of accepting it. Oops. slightly different way than last time. I'm not going to bother dodging that attack. Because I now need to get back to the entrance. And that's the fastest way. It's about to put my armor back on, but I actually need to do another death abuse. Technically two more. I actually died three times during this day, which is kind of funny. The first death was back there. The second one is going to save me like half a second. Maybe a bit less. It's the second time I've crossed that room with a death abuse in this run. Those two death abuses together save maybe a second. And now we are up at Huss and Tuss's hideout. And we are gonna go... 
Oh, we have to outrun this boulder. Okay, we have now outrun the boulder. And here's Huss and Tusk and the computer. Why am I not well, surprised? well. You're under arrest. Why? Was he betrayed in his That I did. Okay, so uh, they are going to resist arrest, and there's going to be an epic boss fight. GG. Why don't you take that computer relic over there? Okay, so one air conditioner successfully stolen. One computer successfully unstolen. And let's go home. It's a long walk, though. Turns out you can jump over the rivers by dismounting a horse at the right time. Excellent. Let's see who we need to talk to. We need to talk to Nora later. We need to talk to Merlin first. Uh, Merlin looks like she is in... Yep, she's in the museum. Oh yeah, there's a museum here now. Yeah, Higgins built the museum. We were, we were supposed to help, but we, we just didn't. And, uh, yeah, uh, Merlin really wants to apologize to Nora, but she is too scared to do it, so she's going to get me to do it instead. So, there we go. And then I need to talk to Albert, who should be at AG Construction. You've Here's your one. stolen air conditioner. It's just an entry. Excellent, and that is those two missions done. Fantastic. Okay, how much money do I have right now? 86k, um, 50, 65, that is enough, okay. Like I said, I think a little bit earlier, the game kind of starts throwing money at us at this point. So I'm going to be sleeping for a week or so here. While I'm asleep, they are going to uh, finish the warehouse and uh, complete all the other upgrades to the harbor. So the harbor story arc is now done. Or will be the next time I leave the house. But uh, now Molly is going to want to go exploring on Starlight Island. And it's a little bit too far away for a bridge, so we're going to be creative. This time, I'm going to build a boat. I don't know, I was getting so used to building bridges and elevators, but okay. We're going to have me build a boat this time. Morning. Morning. Propellerless boat? Yeah. There to While I'm back here, I need to build a factory at this point, and the factory is huge, so I'm gonna have to expand my lot again. Uh, do I have stuff in my inventory for this? Uh, yes I do. Okay. I believe this is the last upgrade I need to do. So we are building a factory. Excellent. So that's done.
while I'm here, I'm gonna run up the hill and get some new armor. So yes, I just bought a wedding dress. It's actually the best armor I can wear. Uh, those other yellow commissions that I ignored there are for the Vala Desert Tunnel. We're, we're never actually going to do them. So, yeah, the, the entire Yvala Desert story arc actually just ends in failure. The tunnel never gets built. We never get connected to Sandrock, and Gale's plans end in failure. Remington's if that's all you want, that new lighthouse, that'll do. But I got a good season's sleep out of it, so you know, wasn't all bad. More like a season and a half. Okay, so what the factory does, it allows me to dump all of my machines in here, and then I just tell the factory what I want it to make, and then usually it tells me no, and I have to figure out what I did wrong. So it's a little bit temperamental, but uh, hopefully I won't have any trouble with it this run. Have I forgotten anything? find out. We need to give it some fuel. And then let's start making stuff. So cutter. I need aluminum plates. Load in all the resources for that. And I'm going to need 10 times 5 and a nine. Uh, composite wooden boards, I'm going to need uh, five times three. Crafting, I'm going to need rubber tires. I'm going to need nine of those, and seats. I'm going to need to make three of those. Uh, over on the furnace screen, I need to make glass. Glass is at the top. Make five glass uh, carbon steel bars. Uh, let's see, I believe it's, yep, five times two. And then five copper. Then two bearings. I can, I can read. It's ten berries. And let me just double check. Everything's working, right? Looks like everything's working. Excellent. Let's sleep. So now it's just going to go and do all of that all by itself. good. So now we need to craft steel shells, 13 of those, steel frames, uh, 11 of those, copper coils, but I need to use wires I already have, and make 10 of these, 10 copper coils, 
uh, back over to the cutter. I need to make advanced composite. That's what I needed the purple resin for. And then on the furnace, hard aluminum, I need to make 24. Uh, lead bar, the only lead I'm actually going to need. It's going to be used for a battery for the very last mission. Strength into glass. 10, again, that's for the last mission. Paddle boat. Excellent. While I'm here, I'm also going to make a DD transport, and this is not required. I don't need this to make the story advance. However, it is fairly easy and fast to do at this point in the run, and it gives a lot of reputation points, which I need for my workshop. Tires, uh, I need fiber cloth that I bought a while back. I need uh, the engine. I think this is the last time I'm going to need an engine. Or a small engine. There we go. So I can get rid of that engine now. So anything I can sell. Those apples actually sell for a lot. Uh, just because I'm, I think, maybe just a bit short of cash. I just want to make sure I don't have any trouble at all with that. So let me sell a few things. Okay, so now uh, I'm gonna go ahead and turn in both of these two commissions. Very nice. Paddle boat and the DD transport. Probably can't sell this today. Oh, nope, I can. They had enough money. sleep how many days uh just one okay hey there my favorite hey molly what's up ho oh, ho oh. on the maps there's a room i will wait for you at okay so now we're going to take a boat from the brand new harbor. First though, got to go shopping. So we're going to take a boat over to Starlight hey, Island. So this is Starlight Island. The ruin entrance is uh, actually, let's go ahead and put my armor on finally. And I think there's one skill point I can spend on increased defense. And let's go. 
Looks like an old office park. Come on, let's go inside. Those craps down there are just friendly. But now we're back on the things that aren't friendly. Huh. Okay, well, every single one of those enemies just missed me. I didn't do a dodge roll, they just missed. Ow. Okay, well. This is interesting. No, they're designs for pro They finally remembered how to hit me once I was in a cutscene. A little no bit of safety. Uh, I don't actually have to kill the robots down here. But if they're still alive, uh, Molly can get distracted fighting them. Okay, Molly, come here. No! Okay, well. It might be fine to just ignore all of these, but since Molly has seen them, let's go ahead and deal with that. I don't remember what's in this chest. Something useless. Okay. Well. So yeah, so I need Molly to help me uh, deal with a boss up here. Or I probably need her to help me. There's a door on the far side. Wait. But if she still knows about monsters down on the floor below, she will deal with them instead. Uh, Molly? Oh, Molly, can you... can you help? Okay, so these can be stunlocked by the hammer. It's very hard to stunlock them both at the same time. I might have it. Oh, not quite. I did a lot of damage for a little while. Oh, I might be able to get them together here. Beautiful. Okay. Well, that was a pretty good fight. Setup was slow, though. That's the passcode. The what? To that locator can most countries back. At least that's the. Come on, let's head back. Okay, so uh, story is continuing to happen. I'll get back to you. I'll get. Right, so what's happening right now is uh, that computer we found earlier, which got stolen, but has now been returned. Uh, but we're worried about it getting stolen again. And uh, it seems like it might have uh, some information on it on how to find a uh, legendary ancient artificial intelligence from before the apocalypse called All Source. And we really don't want that to fall into the hands of whoever has been trying to steal it. So we are going to set a trap for them. Have you ever shiny one of the three legends? Uh, well, guess what? I was about to pick it. So uh, the goal is going to be to build a model of the all source and set a trap to uh, try to steal the person who comes to to steal it uh, we don't know what all source looks like but uh, well ack uh, has been around since before the uh, the apocalypse so we are going to rely on his memory to remember what all source units look like And then we're actually going to meet an all source at the end of the run so we can check and see how good Axe memory was. I'm sure it's fine. Oops. 
make sure. Yep, okay, everything did get processed correctly. Oh, I did forget to buy something on the way down here, though. Uh, so I need some of these, and I also need to go back to town very briefly here. Horse, come back here. Thank you. robot he should have a brilliant memory right so that's what act thinks the ulceros looks like Okay, and we sleep, and then uh, just having a model of the of the all source AI is uh, not not going to be enough. We need a uh, we need a Looney Tunes style cage hey, hidden from a rope, or excuse me, see. suspended from a rope from the ceiling that is going to yeah. drop onto the thief's head well, uh, when they step on the whatever that's going to drop it. Uh, but first we have to go track Arlo down, because he hasn't told us we have to do that yet. And he's not up here, he's down at the other part of the city. Whoops. Arlo, come back! Here's what's gonna happen next. Okay, great. Okay, so we have a trap device now. Turns out if you craft an item while riding your horse, uh, you will still be holding the item. Yeah, this will work well. Even if it's not an item you're supposed to be able to hold while on a horse. Anyway, we're going to be setting this trap up on Western Plateau, so I have to go over there now. I'm going to miss this cycle. Okay, giant cage coming through. Took you long enough. Come I on. came straight here on a horse, Arlo. I don't know what you're talking about. I even climbed the hill, so or climbed to the cliff instead of waiting for an elevator cycle. Boss, for now. What? Clever sitting. That's right. What you mean? So we caught a thief, surprisingly. Uh, they didn't stay caught, but hey, points for effort. Wait, don't focus on me. Focus on someone else. So yeah, I'm now level 22, and the Rogue Knight is level 100, so this is gonna be a while. Oh! 
hope everyone stays going well. Oh, something interesting happened. Glad Molly's here. She's doing most of the actual damage here. Good. So, so that's what happened. I'm leaving right away. So when the rogue knight gets down to 50% uh, health, uh, they decide to be a chicken and run away. With the passcode key. And uh, yeah, that that was a uh, very tiring, tiring day having to fight a knight. So uh, let let's go sleep. You know what? Let's just sleep for like half a week. That's fine. I don't think I'm needed anywhere. Right, so Molly's gonna leave town because reasons, and we're gonna get a new friend who's gonna help us track down... Well, two things. First, track down the rogue knight. Uh, but also, uh, we need some keys from some other old abandoned ruins. Uh, in order to get the, uh, the locator computer we found earlier to actually tell us where the all source is. And we kind of want to know that now. So if we don't, the Rogue Knight will find it. So there are three keys we're going to have to find. And Ursula is going to help us find them. Hey kid, got a message from the mayor. Great. Now. Now that everyone's here. Yes, yes. Let you want to use it. That's not for me to say. You know, I'm not. I have received it. Those. I brought the passcode key. How come Molly didn't come? She's still being debriefed. What am I here for? We might run into such Also, we'll stop. Sure. We'll start looking for the AI. Uh, Good. That is all. Okay. Oh, right. I was looking around for my horse, but they don't let me bring my horse to that meeting. And I sleep. Right, so this next day is going to be a very long day. So we need to go find out what Ursula wants us to do. Time is ticking. Builder, glad you're here. From the locator computer, I've identified these locations. Since you got here first, you probably would have picked this one. Here are the diagrams you'll need. In the meantime, we Okay, so uh, we need to build a bridge. Surprise, surprise. more of a ramp than a bridge, but it goes up to a bridge. And it's kind of a bridge, so I'm gonna call it a bridge. And there's a trigger for a cutscene to my left right now. And I have to be careful to walk around, because that will activate a side quest that I don't want to have to deal with, and it's gonna trigger more um, cutscenes that I can't skip later on, so I am gonna have to carefully walk around that cutscene trigger three times throughout this run, every time I go by there. There's actually a couple of side quests that are going to cause some trouble for me. 
This one's not a big deal. I just have to walk around the trigger each time. Not a big deal at all. Okay. So now... All the routes have been completed. Even diving that ruin for the... Ten is guarding the entrance. So now that bridge I just built leads over to the second of the uh, key dungeons we're going to have to go to. But uh, now they want me to go take a look at the first one, because that's already available. And I'm going to have to talk to Gale. Ah, thank you so much for... Oh, I know! Ah, so I don't actually have to do that for, uh, like, to push the serves. plot forwards. I, uh, it's just yes. to get the reputation ah, points for that mission. Now I have, uh, and now uh, Gale is going to offer me two side missions that I'm going to say no to, and that's going to make um, Gale irritable, but, you know, that's that's not my fault. Okay, you know what? I've got enough money to finish the run now. I don't actually need to sell the other piece of armor I just got. I can just let it sit in my inventory. Okay, so we're going back into the tree farm. As it turns out that the entrance to the dungeon is right over here. Actually, right next to uh, you know the first place I went oh, way back it. at the start of the run. Almost five and a half hours ago. See this? We blasted through. Apparently they blasted through that door. I was wondering why there was a hole in the middle of it. You can't go here. You won't open. I have a giant hammer and I'm not afraid to use it. I'm just in too much of a hurry to use it. These enemies actually want to fight me. They're going to have to do a much better job of getting in my way. Those machines seem to be general. About this so about side quests. Uh, well, first off, there's a... Uh, there's a tra uh, transformer that needs to be repaired because reasons. <laughs> Something that was broken inside the uh, dungeon that we have to fix. Uh, but also, that chest I opened had an AI chipset in it. We're going to need a couple of those at the I'm end of the really run. Excited. Fortunately, there is a side mission, which I was not able to skip earlier, that also needs AI chipsets, and if I ever walk into the, uh, into the research center with, I think, three of them, uh, they'll automatically get pulled out of my inventory and used for that. Um... Yeah, for, for that side mission. So that's not something I want to happen. So I'm going to put that in a chest and leave it there. So I pulled an all-nighter to get the director and I... So I have... Anyway, here's the... No, I'm going to go get... Okay. So we have repaired the transformer, so we can go open a door now, basically. That, that's what the stakes were there. Oh, it's just you. Got that trans... But first, 
Look what we respawned. Okay, so we got two AI chipsets in total. I almost forgot. After I repair it, I actually have to still push the button to use it. This is where I, uh, this is where I had trouble last week. So I somehow managed to carry a damage over time status effect out of this fight. And all the way to the research center where I finally died. Turns out the game doesn't know what to do if you die inside the research center, so it just makes you reload the day. That's annoying. don't have the poison effect so I don't have to worry about that I do need to go tell Ursula though I heard from 10 I'll have someone come even though she already knows okay so the first key has been acquired Two more to go. And the next one's going to be tomorrow. And this is actually the easy one. It's no building or anything I have to do. I just have to go to the dungeon and run through it. And it's the simplest of the dungeons, too. Good day. Ready for an The team's ready to ex- Yep. The cap- Okay, let's go do that. So this is on the other side of the collapsed wasteland, so I'm going to have to walk around that side mission trigger again. Uh, this didn't actually used to be here either. Uh, this is one of the side missions that was added uh, oh, like within the last year. I think about a year ago. I forget exactly when that one was added. But yeah, that was surprising the first time I walked into that in the middle of a speedrun. Not realizing it was going to be there. Are you ready to go? Yep, let's do it. All right, gather up. I will take the left. Yes, boss. I have a friend of the council guards. No, I was hot. Oh, right. Mission. Builder, you're up. Nice job. Crystal spawned at the right moment there. Captain, I must say you're very Lucian. You're from Lucian. What did I say about I mission? So Arlo's trying to be chatty, and Ursula really doesn't want to talk about her past. I'm sure it's nothing. That's the key. 
Not only is that the key, but that is flowey. So we're gonna have to fight a flower. And if I'm lucky, flowey will just keep. Nope. I had to stop talking. Look, Flowey, you had a good thing going attacking Ursula. Like, I thoroughly approve of you attacking Ursula. Why are you over here causing me trouble? That means I can't attack you as quickly. Ow. Okay, that's right. Keep looking. Keep looking at Ursula. Me and Arlo will just stand behind you and do damage. There we go. Sometimes I can't believe the nasty machine. Arlo! Captain! Scrat! Chill, Grumpy Pat. Maybe not. It's okay. We have the That's number two. Okay, two down. One to go. Good work, everyone. Good work, everyone. Now let's go sleep. So the next day, I will receive uh, my instructions for the third key. Uh, we can't go into the dungeon yet because it's full of uh, toxic gas. So I need to build an exhaust fan to uh, oh, clean it out. out. Oh, you see, there are some. What type of machine? An exhaust fan. Yeah, perfect. Oh, incidentally, on all of these missions, uh, if you try to click the option to turn down the missions once we get to this point, uh, Ursula just explains that uh, her plans are far more important than anything you might have going on and gives you the mission anyway. Just kind of funny. Okay. So now we need to go home. I should have taken my armor off there. I was trying to think if it would be faster or not, but I just realized I actually need my armor off at the start of the next mission anyway. So yeah gonna have to take it off now. Oh, okay. Well, I almost managed to talk to Ursula before she went in. You have it installed. Okay, so the third key is gonna be on the first day of fall. So that's what, three days from now? near the end. It's like five things left I have to do. Two of them are gonna take a while though.
So this is where things get nerve-wracking for me. Uh, this is the most difficult of the, the dungeons we have to do. Getting through it's not hard, but uh, there's some specific things I need to do that are very easy to mess up if I want to get through it in the fastest possible time. So there's, uh, there's some time to be lost here if I, uh, if I don't do this cleanly. Look, I'm going to head into the ruin with you. You know what? Ready to enter the ruin? Remembering some problems I had last week there's still some residue with getting attacked during a cutscene. I am actually going to go ahead and put my armor on. I'm going to sacrifice a little bit of time for hopefully some safety here. Okay, don't want to get hit there or there or there. And then hopefully the robot looks at Ursula. Oi, what are you doing? Okay. Now I want to get killed. Okay. Now that nobody's attacking me anymore. Okay, there we go. That's to return to the start of the dungeon, and now I really don't want to die. The enemies here are pretty well spread out. But as I do this, they are going to clump together, and if I don't make it through here first try, they are going to become a real problem. I might not be able to get through without killing a bunch of them. This is what I needed most of that human food for. Nope, 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 nope. Okay, made it through. That wasn't too bad. I've got a bed. I'll find a panel to fix. Okay. And one more pig we have to kill. Oh, how did I miss on that? That one should have been easy. Okay, that's the third key. So now we can go find the all source. Our prize away. I'm going to contact HQ. But first. Uh. Gotta go home. A long way. Right, so there's another side task that I have to complete. Uh, the last mission is going to need a lot of carbon fiber. And that's a bit of a problem, because carbon fiber takes a very, very long time to collect normally. Uh, however, you can buy it from the Civil Corps. That sounds like a good thing, so I want to do that, but there are some requirements. Uh, 
first is that uh, you have to have completed the second level of Ingol's Mine. There's nothing I actually need here. I just need to play through the first two levels of this so that I can buy carbon fiber from the Civil Core later. I also have to have uh, my workshop at A rank. Or, excuse me, B rank. Uh, which is actually why I was doing inspections earlier. Uh, let's go ahead and heal. So yeah, all of the missions um, that you are required to do don't quite give you enough uh, reputation points to get up to B rank. So I have to do a few optional things uh, just to get a few extra points to get up to B rank. Uh, so six inspections and building one extra DD transport, which I did a bit earlier, is enough to do it. also gives me some extra, uh, oh, what are they called, some extra power stones early on in the run when they're a little bit harder to get in bulk, and also gave me those combat items that are helping me out now, and were particularly useful during the, uh, uh, when I was getting the old parts from the sewage plant. And we have to fight another one of these fellows now. Well, that fight went well. chests here. There can't be anything in them I need. jump over the tunnel of worms so I'm pushing it in the direction I want to go. Okay, well that didn't quite work, but it died quickly. Okay, one more floor. Let's see if this boss gets an attack in. So this is one of the bosses that can actually be stun-locked with the hammer.
Nope. Boss got one attack off, which didn't land, and uh, that's it. Uh, unless I do something silly like that. Oh, never mind. <laughs> I got the stun lock back before it, before it could attack. Yeah, I ran out of stamina there, but that's fine. I was able to eat some food. Okay, and with that, we are heading to bed. Let's go kick some stuff out of my inventory that I'm not going to need. Just so I don't get don't get confused by it later. Final battle takes place on the fourth. Okay, so there are three three things I need to do now. First is to go do a battle. Well, and uh, also do some mining on the way. We haven't seen a trace anyway. Just to let you know. So the, the final mine, the Titania mine, is available now. And we are going to need some titanium for the final mission. We're going to need 525 of it, to be precise. So let's get that mini drill out that I bought earlier. Let's see how long it takes to find that. Could take a while. Titanium deposits tend to be pretty small. Okay, got a decent amount there. Okay, fine. Well, that's some bad luck.
There's a big pocket of it. No, oh, it's, it's shell. Okay. I see some more down there, though. Oh, wow, that would have been really big, too. Okay, there may still be enough here. Oh. If only I found this the first time. Okay, five, two, five. I have that. Let's get out of here. And I put my armor back on because I am about to have to go fighting. So we're all ready to go. What is it now, Mr. Stanza? You know. Yes, yes, I know him. Uh, well, that's just. Isn't that right? And it turns out that oh, Ursula just received the tele Captain, was friends with the Rogue Knight all along. Fight. And yes, now we have to fight. This could have shown you no mercy. Ten is the only one of the three who I can stun lock with the hammer, so I tend to focus on ten first. Bit of a weird sequence there. Okay, got rid of ten. Behind Ryder here. So, why should I tell you? you and cutscene happens, and we were just about to win, but then the Rogue Knight turned up, and now we're all prisoners. Hello there. Who are you? Ahem. That's fine, because Huss and Tuss turn up. Nobody. And now we're not well, prisoners anymore. So Hooray! We were just fish yeah, but uh, the bad people well. have a head start getting to all source now, yes. so... We okay. Need, we need to go in there and... Can we beat them? No choice. Got it. All right. Huss, Tuss. I need... So, I guess we are going to chase them down, then. That Let's works. Go. It won't open. But look, there's a small opening in the... Nice find. It looks very small. Come on. No. Those spawns. Very good luck there, too. Okay. choice of left or right. Either one's okay, but I think right is a little bit faster. Depending on which way we go, we either have to fight uh, Everglade or Ryder.
So, cutscene happens, Everglade gets away, boohoo, but that's not our main priority. We move onwards. And one last elevator. You know where that puts me. Okay, right here. That's fine. A few seconds lost there. Depends on your no matter. Stop it. Um, video is gone. Uh, it looks fine to me. That's where I was buying carbon fiber. Looking at OBS to see if there's anything, any kind of warnings or anything I could do something about. It looks fine though. Uh, yeah, I just brought my stream up and it looks fine in my browser. So it might be just on your end. Hey, okay. come on. The night's essential plaza. Did you like that? That does not concern. Let me show. I can't believe. Okay, this is the final piece of combat in the game. Fresh? Okay. Good. the attack I really don't want to see the enemy do. That's right, keep doing that attack. Keep trying to step on me. No, don't punch me. Punching is so slow. Okay, so that's phase one of three. That was a very good phase two. We're not of so phase three, all source has been disabled, and now we're just fighting the rogue knight, who doesn't manage to kill me coming out of the cutscene. That's unusual. Dodging this, that's fine by me. How long that lasts? Okay, well, that's how long that lasts. Mm -hmm. 
So the rogue knight's gonna run away once they get down to 20% health. Yeah, so I keep respawning at low health at this point, which is unfortunate. I get killed again very easily, but being low health means I do extra damage, so as long as I can stay behind the rogue knight, it's not a not a problem at all. Okay, 27, 26, 25, 24, 2, 1, 0. Okay, two missions left. So we're gonna step outside. And uh, the Rogue Knight kind of messed up the town a little bit, so Albert's going to ask us to help repair everything. I'm going to volunteer Higgins for the honor. And one last use of the factory. We are going to make... First up, titanium plates. We need 30 of those. And then titanium bars. Uh, we need 15 of those. And then we're going to go to sleep. Don't completely understand airplay. Mm, it's not something I'm familiar with, so... Not something I can comment on. So there should be a letter from Petra. And we're going to go to the research center where they have the Allsource. Turns out Allsource doesn't really want to, to kill anyone and just wants to be friends with us all. Yes, so that's... that's Okay. Can you tell us how to... uh, also, we can now compare uh, a real all source unit to um, Axe Memory. I'd say it was spot on. So, uh, the all source's name, it turns out, is Wendy. Uh, We're going to be helping her because uh, uh, she doesn't have enough power. So, we need to build a uh, high voltage power supply for her. Miss Wendy. That's okay. Let me see. Interesting. Like I told you before. Well, we'll accept. And you will be helping. Sure thing. Great. First thing. Thanks. Okay, so now we need to go sleep. Check our mail to get the diagram and then build a high voltage power supply. Yo, Spirit. Welcome here. Hope you're doing well. I'm getting pretty close to the end of this run. Just two missions left to go. Excited for the marathon? Me too, it is getting close. This is my last practice, actually. And it's been going well. How 
is it, Wendy? Power Optimum. I'm sorry we could... It's okay. Okay. One left to go. This is a long one, though. So I'm going to be sleeping until the 16th. Is the 16th, so uh, there will be one or possibly two cutscenes here. Okay, two. So that was Molly coming back to town. Should be able to step back outside to get the second one. So this is our pa. Oh, come on. Huh? How long is it been? Eleven. What are you doing? Uh, apparently we haven't seen him in you eleven years. Anyway, so he turns up and uh, immediately challenges us to a competition to see who the better builder is. That's fine, we can deal with that tomorrow. Good night. Hello, sleepyhead. I have a mess. I have absolutely no defense against being called sleepyhead in this run. Have a builder back. What? It's a contest between. I know what it is. Why not? Great. Well, now. I'll Sounds good. Ever since the sky. So, your builder. Are you going to be using. I think I'll just borrow. I think I'll need to talk. Okay, so, uh, the competition is to build an airplane called the Dragonfly. Uh, and we need to talk. To Arlo. You're looking for a jet engine. Anyway, we haven't really found. We still haven't found Everglade yet. And Arlo doesn't know what I'm on about, so says go talk to Petra. That's fine. So Petra's gonna help us with. You guys just had. Presley did the picking. Well, it, I'm glad you already. Have. I still need help with the. Yeah. Right. Um, so uh, Petra's gonna help great. us with the landing gear. Actually, Arlo sends us to send to, to talk to Wendy, I think. It's cool. been a while since I've done this casually. Okay, so we get a diagram for the jet engine from Wendy. Petro will send us a landing gear diagram tomorrow. And that will probably be the last day. Unless I've uh, messed something up here. Okay, I can see the end of my notes. Hey, glad to see you again. Molly, you're up. Yeah, I had my own. I heard. What? Well, the sky sharks, they set an ambush. Sounds rough. We're still investigating. Anyway, you don't have to worry about it. Oh, that's all right. Ooh. We skipped a cutscene. Fine by me. Oh, I need to check my mail. <laughs> Uh, 
So I need titanium and those bearings I made earlier. Okay. This is where it's all coming together. This is the last thing I have to build. So, glass, titanium plates, uh, carbon fiber, what else do I need? A seat. Just make one wind wheel so I can make a jet engine, fuel pack, console. Oh, I need a little bit more carbon fiber. Plane. Now why would it eat? What can I see? This is top off yet. What rights now? Sure, why not? Hey, what is this? This is my builder is done with her head. Oh, the plane? It was that's my kid. I'll pretend I why are you still work? Oh, he was uh... Okay, okay. Oh, and yeah. I call it the so, uh, Pa forfeited the competition because he decided to make an, a pig, a flying pig, instead of an airplane. What do you think? I'm so glad you- You know, sing- I bet you're mine. What? Celebrate what? A wonderful life. Okay, so then... I'm gonna fly the pig home. It's faster. And we're going to sleep, and then as soon as I wake up, credits are going to play, and that is time. And time. 6.16.04. Well, that's a, that's a PB. See, Clara? We didn't have to worry one bit. That's a pretty big I'll PB, too. Later, my kid. Yo, thanks, Ted. see all the people we never made friends with because we were busy going fast. And yeah, that was my time at Porsche. And we get some credits. So yeah, so this was my 37th full run through of the game. I believe my first took 16 hours, uh, divided over two days. Actually, did that first one take three days? I don't actually remember. It's been a while now. Yeah, time time's come down a lot. I think my second run was 12 hours, and then it's just kept coming down from there. It took a long time to get under seven hours, but now it's down to 6.16. Need a little bit more to get past the next uh, quarter hour mark. I 
mission to the Civil Corps three times. That was for the, uh, the carbon fiber. Thank you very much. To the Civil Corps for that, because I would have spent literally an hour trying to get that carbon fiber any other way. The realization that I could get the carbon fiber from the Civil Corps was really what made this category way back Oh, a year and a half or whatever it was ago. That was when I, uh, I realized that this could actually be done and in a reasonable amount of time. fished 80 times and it gave me kings five of those so that's that's significantly better than uh, the expected outcome for that again two or three is what's expected yep champion of fishing day five times the sixth one oh who did i lose to i think i lost to toady it's either Toadie or Papa Bear. Very well. Oop. Come on. Ah. Here we go. So as the sun rises, there we go, that was, that was a run. <laughs>